How's it going, guys? And welcome to our 2v2 tournament. So today, we're my team, The Walking Haggard, is going to be playing our opening round match versus Team Wa Incorporated. So it's definitely going to be a ferocious one. I'm going to be joined by my partner, Professor Pwn. So in the first match, we're going to be playing uh, Wood Elves and Vampire Counts. So basically, let me go ahead and plug in my headphones here so everything doesn't echo back at you guys. I'm going to be jumping in the chat, but our general strategy is, you know, I'm going to be going with the missile units. I have some Way Watchers, some Deep Wood Scouts, uh, just kind of general skirmish units to support the Vampire Counts. But I'm going to have a very heavy cav force, a lot of Wild Riders and Hagbane tips to really get into the back line and hopefully do pretty well. So hopefully Gojir and Black Iron aren't stream sniping us. We'll uh, hope <laughs> for the best. And without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and uh, jump over to chat. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be good. Yeah, it's kind of like Tron music. It's called Ghost Cop. It's uh, it's just like a free song that YouTube gives you access to. So yeah, it's pretty sweet. Okay, so let me go ahead and jump over to Discord. All right, Pwn, the time is here. The stream has started. And now we can talk about some of our dank strategies. So how you doing, man? You ready? Let me, let me make sure that... Can you guys all hear Pwn? Say, give him a little something something to just check the audio before we get rolling. Hi, chat. I hope we win. <laughs> In before stream snipe. Yeah. Yeah, things are going well, Adam. Hey, man. Yeah, I'm actually in the States right now. I was in Poland last week. But, um, okay. So, your build, you got Manfred, you got some zombies, skeletons, some spears, which is going to be really helpful against boars. Mortis engine, obviously pretty MVP. And if we can shut down those Gabba archers, I think we'll be okay, like with the Mortis engine. So, yeah. Any One, I could, I could ditch... Uh like a skelly and a zombie and take a a bat you know that would actually be really good if we could get like maybe one or two fell bats it's just like so if we see the rusty errors we can just go in deep on them like because that's literally the only thing that can counter kind of our build here um i mean one other thing to consider is we might see a lot of monsters but i feel like with way watchers and deep put scouts we should be fine against monsters like giants and trolls and things like that yeah i don't think a giant will last long but they could bring some spideys yeah the Arachnorooks. I did bring the Way Watchers just in case, and you also have a Terrorgeist and Manfred on a Dragon, so we have we have stopping power. I feel so. Double check my spells, make sure I didn't ruin anything. All right, let's see. Uh, invocation. We'll see if they're ready. Yeah, they they keep ready enough. All right, you ready to party, man? Is it time? Do it. Is it time to, for face the walking? A fully operational battle station. <laughs> we don't have the most haggard team, that's for sure. So a little <laughs> bit, a little bit of an undersell on our team name, but yeah, I don't know. Like I feel like once you're up a game, there's some more liberty. You know, you can take some liberties and playing more ridiculous stuff. But yeah, I don't know. At this point, we gotta we gotta try and get the first one at least. <laughs> but um, yeah, guys, how it works generally speaking in this tournament is everyone declares three teams each match. So we all, you can't counter pick each other. So they pick double green skins, we pick vampires, what else, not knowing what they're going to be playing, which I think is a little bit more fun. It's kind of reminiscent of like true RTS games and Warcraft 3 and all that kind of good stuff. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see, brother. You got, you got the Manny, Manny up here and we are on the Warpstone mine for game one. And uh, yeah, this is a good one for us, I think, because there's a couple natural chokes with those pits. So we can force the green skins into some pretty ugly fights considering we have better range, I think, but... I don't know. We'll see. It's a thriller, thriller <laughs> night. <laughs> you know what we could run into actually it would be uh, like Doom Diver catapults and things like that. That's why I brought bats. Yeah, the bats are the bats were a really good kind of last minute decision there. Uh, we could all be at the pub or something, <laughs> watching. And you could be at the pub, but instead you're watching this. I like it. I'm glad you guys are enjoying all the all the madness. Hi, welcome to St. Patrick's Day. Isn't it St. Patrick's Day? my Haggard accent. Is it St. Patrick's Day today? <laughs> it is, it is, isn't it? Oh, man, I just don't even know what year it is, let alone. You wearing green? Uh, yeah, actually, it's like a dark green army, like army green shirt, Fuck. sort of. Yeah. Can I run over to your house and pinch me? <laughs> just come over from the <laughs> East Coast and pinch me here in California. I'm in Central, baby. I'm halfway there. Yeah, you're ready. Yeah, we. Uh, I'm half Irish too, give or take. So, I, I should. No, I should know. Irish this. and German. Okay, so we're we're in the we're in the right neighborhood. That's for sure. You guys, you guys. Abraham Lincoln wants to watch us bring the pain. Apparently. Yeah, that's that's the word on the street. I'm trying to get this stream chat up, but my laptop's just terrible, so it keeps like dropping. Well, hopefully, uh, hopefully we don't have too much lag. I know that Gojira has had some issues with lag in the past, so we're gonna we're gonna try our best. But regardless, hopefully you guys will enjoy the madness. I'm the last one loaded in here, I think. 
Oh, you are? Got, like, my cane out. Yep, it's good now. <laughs> Swaddling in. Oh, man. Yeah, no, I, I definitely can't do an Irish accent. No. I mean, maybe the Lucky Charms guy. But that's... <laughs> that's for me, Lucky Charms. <laughs> yeah, that's about it. That's that's already a stretch. Oh, my goodness. But, yeah, this this mine should... Warps oh, and mine I should favor us. Been, so, feels yeah. good, man. I love that big meteor over there. It looks so freaking cool. I wish you could like mine. You see that big corridor in the warpstone mine? Like this mine shaft? Wouldn't it be cool if you could like yeah. run up there and turtle in the back? <laughs> <laughs> they have to like run through it to get to you. Mind uh, me of Joe Dirt with the uh giant space poop. Yeah, yeah. Dude, I, Joe Dirt's the best movie. Uh, I used to <laughs> watch that religiously as a child. Which I probably shouldn't be admitting, but they have two. Uh did I see the second one? I'm not sure. It, I have not. All right, so we'll just kind of set up here. Look, there's a nice little natural choke here that they can't come through in here. So we'll just like push and, and I'll try and get some heavy skirmishing going on. And if, if we do get into a Vanguard fight, I mean, I have three Wild Riders with shields here, so I'm pretty confident I can win a Vanguard fight. I mean, they'd have to have like 10 Goblin Wolf Riders to win that. Gonna keep the bats over here as well, just yeah. in case. So the army size, they, wow, look how small their army is. Oh my gosh, do you see that? Oh, wow. 967. Like, what is going on over there? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, maybe. I mean, thankfully, we do have some AP missiles and, you know, a dragon. We have we have armor piercing, so we'll see what happens. 2v2 is shenanigans for sure. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so deep wood scouts, I'm probably going to start, like, up a little bit. I'm going to try and get some free skirmish again. And the way watchers, I'm just going to be really conservative with, I think. Maybe just keep them off to the side here and just, you know, scoot up and shoot. As is necessary. And the Eternal Guard, I'll kind of have one screening each of the flanks in case they try any like Wolf Rider shenanigans. Now they can Vanguard in the corners behind us. So we need to we need to be cognizant of that. That could be coming. Okay, so let's go ahead and get my my militant forces here ready to go. Four. The branch rate's just gonna be uh, moving forward with you. Four and five. I think I'm about ready, brother. I'm ready to go. I wouldn't expect trolls. I mean, against wood elves, trolls are already terrible, and against vampires, they're not very good. So trolls would be super, super ambitious, I think. I mean, maybe black orcs and arachnot queens just coming in with, like, a, a giant death star. like yeah, that. With two, with two groups of orcs, if they brought trolls, they'd just route off. Yeah, they would just get wrecked, like, especially against Mortis Engine. I'd be A-OK -okay with that. Yeah, I mean, maybe they have the teeth robbers. We're not sure. <laughs> <laughs> Robbing some teeth, boys. All right, so I got the prey. And green scenes can't really threaten us in there, and if they do bring Azag, I can way watch him down and snipe him out, so... I think we'll be okay in that respect. These guys can fire at will, which is fine. Yeah, hopefully I can get into the back line with some of these wild riders. I mean, we should have the cav advantage. Green skin cav is pretty subpar, so... I'll see. Oh, I thought they were talking smack. They just yelled wah. Yeah, thank you guys all for joining today. We're uh, actually in the first round of our 2v2 tournament, so this is going to be a uh, and I's team, the Walking Haggard, facing off against Wah Incorporated, which is Black Iron Battles, who you guys may have seen in Blood Bowl this morning. He has a YouTube channel, and Gojira Gaming, who uh, is also in our Blood Bowl League and has a channel of his own. So in the description afterwards, there will definitely be a link to everyone's channel. So uh, let me, let's me let check if they're ready. I said we're ready when you are. Oh, okay. I totally just missed that. Yeah, and we, I mean, we have heavy AP in Manfred, too, so you got Fate of Buna and Spirit Leech, so we could definitely get some pretty solid, like, hero action. Oh, they ready it up. The Wah is ready. All right. You ready? Oh, man. Do it. It's so tense. Okay, so we're good. What did they pull? Oh, nope. All right. What do they got? What do we got? got? We got a, a little skirmish going on over here already, so maybe Both I can catch them. A black Orcs. Two? Nope. We got two Arachnarok Queens, one regular. I think I may have caught some of their Goblin Wolf Riders over here, their Amazing Marauders. The Black Orcs cometh. Oh, Rachnar Queens too. Okay. So we got a, a decent little early catch here. Um, let's go ahead and just start shooting at these Black Orcs and go here. And if we can force these Gobbos off the battlefield really quick, that would be a super nice pick. And they're wavering, and negative four. Okay, let's actually just go back here. I'm trying to run my bats up there to help chase. Yeah, that would be good. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm just trying to be careful because they do have a lot of boards and stuff. Uh, do we want to lock them the down? The queens are charging your archers. 
Okay. Three. The deep with scouts. Got it. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna get my missile shooting, my way watchers. We'll kite back with these guys. And uh, yeah, I got some backline action going on, so let me know if I need to need to turn my attention at all. Yeah, both your your other deep wood scouts are getting caught on spiders now. Trying to move them back, they're not not responding. But that one Ragnar Queen's actually almost dead to the way watchers, so that's pretty good for us. Okay, come on guys, let's get you guys back, and we'll get the way watchers back as well. And yeah, if we can get down that queen it's real on quick. your way watchers. <clears throat> okay, they're pulling back. They should be fine. And they're pulling back, which is good. I got my wild riders over here doing their thing. And cool. So let's pull you guys back to the main fight, see if we get some rear charging. Deep with scouts are pulling back. Do we need a Melkos on anything? That's a pretty big blob, but one of those Arachnor queens is already dead, which is really good. So I'm going to turn and start shooting at that other queen right there. And let's see if we can go ahead and jump over here. I did lose one Wild Rider, but it's been a pretty decent little trade back here. Those are Goblin Wolf Riders, so let's see if we can turn there and smash those guys real quick. Rachnot Queen's going down. He summoned some Spiderlings on top of my, my guys here. I don't know if we have anything we can really do against that there. Uh, How are things looking for you? My, my stuff all looks good. Good, good. Skirmishing's going pretty well. I'm you just back. cast heal, and it's healing all my guys. <laughs> oh, I did? It's, heal it's healing? Yeah. Okay, Earthblood works on undead, apparently. <laughs> Good to know. Alright, so the fight, the skirmish fight in the back's going pretty well. I picked off quite a, a bit of stuff. They got a sitting there in the back. Oh. But a Gork. Uh, that wasn't too bad. Yeah, I've nope. seen worse. Okay. So the Wave Watchers are up. Is there any queens left? So I'm going to keep shooting those Arachnot queens. Because those are, the, those are the really some of the only things that can do anything to you, to be honest. Oops. He has pinned down the terror geist. Uh, we got some goblin wolf riders in the back here. I'm gonna see if I can uh, get away from those guys real quick. Keep the scouts can shoot at them. Let's get these guys kind of scooting up. Great. So those guys in the back have been dealt with. We got some orc boars in the back as well. Let's see if I can get those guys down. Okay. Yeah. I should be able to collapse them. That shouldn't be a problem. Sees Malkos and some of those black orcs. A very good battle so far. And let's go ahead and use Crave and Athrama and those boars back there. Just trying to, they got a lot of wolf riders in the back here, so I'm gonna just pull my archers pretty close to your main, your main squad here. Yeah, I'm trying to bring my uh, spearmen around to help, and then I got bats coming up over here for those wolf riders. Perfect, perfect. I almost sniped out Warzag here. Okay. I'm going to send uh, some, some of my wolf riders to get him. Uh, you can ignore him. I'll finish him off. You can bring the dragon back. Almost got that Arachnot Queen down. Getting some pretty good focus fire. Yeah, if you, we could get the bats back there too, that'd be helpful. Yeah, I'm going to get the I'm gonna get Warzag, no problem here. Okay. Get some of my deep wood scouts. It's literally like NFL QBing here in the pocket, just shooting these guys down. <laughs> They really haven't touched my mortise engine yet. That's good. If we can, yeah, if we can keep some of these Waywatchers alive, we should be able to finish off the Queens, no problem. So I'm going to run them behind your guys. Looks like I have some spear, extra spears I can go ahead and pull in here. And, uh, okay, Wurzok's done for, for sure. Let's go ahead and chase him off here. Can have you guys fight, and let's go ahead and drop a heal here in the blob. Cool. Yeah, Terror guys is gone. Perfect. Yeah, getting now my... Manfred's getting gang banged by Get... these spiders. Good job on picking Warzog there. That's solid. I'm almost out. Yeah, let's get you out of there. I'm going to finish off the Arachnot Queen here with some of these archers. And how are we doing here? We got our fight going. Saving up for another heal. As long as we keep that Mortis engine, I think we'll be fine. Let's get some of you guys fighting in here. The Hagbane tips, we can get you guys back in the battlefield as well. That's a lot of black orcs. Okay, Way Watchers took that out. I'm gonna switch on to one of the second Arachnot Queens now. And Wurzog is almost off the battlefield. Need to make sure to finish him. Just trying to spam some zombies and keep them from, uh, keep the black orcs busy. Yeah, no problem. I got Eternal Guard that can go in and kind of plug those guys up too. Okay. Come on guys, let's get you guys in there. Perfect. 
Okay, Deepwood Scouts are shooting in there. The Queen's starting to take pretty substantial damage. My Wild Riders in the back are finishing off some of his boars and other threats here. And Warzog's almost... Oh man, it's taking forever to chase him, but I feel like it's really important to finish him off. I agree. Okay. Oh, uh, juicy. Juicy dragon bait. Just focusing down the Queen here. I'm going to send out some of those guys to help. Yeah, I'm going to work on this Shaman, though. Fortunately, there are some spiders back here as well. I'm going to have to... Uh, can you grab your Felbats from the back of the map here and send them into these uh, these boards right here? Yep. Okay, perfect. Wurzog is still not going quietly here. Okay, I feel like I can't afford to chase him anymore. I need to come back. It's just taking forever to kill him. Yeah, once with those, those Felbats should actually be able to finish off those boars. Way Watchers just going to keep shooting that Arachnor Queen. Back here it's going good. Back here it's going good. And, uh, yeah. I pray of an Othram as well, so... Let me know if you have any call-outs for, like, targets and stuff. Uh, I'm still chasing around his, uh... His Shaman here. Okay, got it. How's this going? Yeah, and who, who do they have in the middle? I think they have, a. They have a Night Goblin Warbles. Just going after the last spider with the Way Watchers here. I was able to get my Cav back here, which is good. Okay, my Lord's coming back in. My, my stuff's going away. <laughs> they have all, they still have a lot of black orcs. Shouldn't be, should be okay. As long as that mortis engine lives, we'll be fine, I think. It's trapped right now. Okay, I'm shooting in there. We do have a pretty substantial lead in the bounce power, so. And I think Wurzog ended up riding off the battlefield, which is good. Those freaking spiderlings are so annoying. Okay, queen's almost dead. I got a prey of an Athram on it, I think. Do I want to use that? No, probably not. We don't need to. Okay, those guys are in good shape. Let's switch them back into missile mode here. Arrow of Kernis. And I'm going to go ahead and Arachnok. Pin it down to get the missile resist to snipe it out. And do I have some archers back over here? That was a lot of pressure from the greenskins. Just from like... It was, it was a lot. Alright, so let's get these archers back. Oh, you got some spiders or some uh, some bats here we can get back into the fight. Let's go ahead and use Melkos right here on those guys. Man, I'm really glad I decided to bring those Waywatchers at the last second. <laughs> All right, let's do this, and uh, I think we I think we got this in the bag. I don't think they have enough stopping power. The black orcs are starting to get worn down. Yeah, I'm gonna have my bats go get the boars over there on the right. Let's see, let's uh, goon that goblin war boss. So maybe grab Manfred, and I'll grab my eagle lady. Let's uh, do a timing push. I will have my archers chase that guy off the battlefield here. Okay, great. Alpha strike! <laughs> go go go! Yeah, there's a bit of lag. 2v2 often has that. All right, I got so. the Sternsman coming back. <laughs> yeah, I think that's it. I think we got Yeah, I, I think they're out of juice to stop my Mortis Engine anymore. Oh my god, that was a stressful game. That was. <laughs> I was like, I was like, there was Wolf Riders coming everywhere, and it's like, yeah. And I was, I screwed up in the beginning a little bit with my archers. Because I was, I was like microing so heavily in the back line, trying to look for rusty errors, but they didn't have them. So I was like, oh, what the hell? There's nothing back here. <laughs> you know? Where are you, you good? <laughs> I, I, that's what I thought was coming. So this, no. this. Uh, they have this goblin big boss that I guess is their last bastion of leadership. Yeah, let's go take him out. Okay, let's turn on fire at will. You can shoot at the goblins. Yeah, that mortis engine is so clutch against green screens. There goes. Everything's gone. GG. GG, dude. That's game one. Woo. <laughs> oh, wait. They, got, they got their unbreakable goblins over here. Yeah, let's just chase them with everything we got. So the Wild Road Riders ended up being a bit of a wash because I used them to attack the back line instead of defending. And the you want to know how MVP these bats are? Dude, the bats were so good this game. Yeah, look, at, look at their health. <laughs> <laughs> They're in perfect health. Oh my gosh. That 52 melee defense, you just can't touch it. Oh, Anna is here. My love. So Pwn and I just... Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> Pwn and I just played played and won the first game in the in the showdown. So first uh, Black Iron and... Uh, Dragon Breath it. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, my apologies for the lag, guys. It's uh, one of our opponents has a really bad computer, and you know, we wanted to bring it to you guys still. So hopefully you don't mind. And it's kind of like you get to see it a little bit slower, anyways, right? So, so that's it. So really, just soak it in. Yeah, man, what a game. Whew. What a game. Uh, T1. That was stressful. That mortis <laughs> engine, because the like queens. Also the right. queens. I just had so much bad infantry that they just all started disappearing real fast. I was like, uh oh. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know what's happening.
Yeah. Thankfully, we had pretty good counterplay to the spiders, but I think they had three in total. Two queens, just tons of black orcs. It was, uh, it was, it was a good one. Yeah, black orcs were scary, man. That's a ton of them, but your mortis engine just like whittled them down so hard. 115 kills on it. Yeah, and that mortis engines usually don't even get kills. So, um, so for game two, our declared teams are uh, beastmen and uh, vampire counts again. I think, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then the second map, let me go ahead and minimize and check, is going to be the Iron Sand Desert. So it's a very open field map. And let me go ahead and switch it so they know what map we're playing on. And we'll see what races they have declared for game two. Iron Sand Desert. Where are you? Iron Sand Desert. And cool. Please don't hate my arm turn. We'll see what they get. <clears throat> <laughs> oh no, Anna. Oh, Look at my no. spooky army. I think it should be good. Do you have Gorst, bro? Is he coming? Ah, we don't even have a lord. <laughs> oh <my> <laughs> I don't think they're playing double green skin again. I mean, they are WA Incorporated, so that would make sense, but. I Just don't know. straight up three green skins all day, every day. We're going to find out, so. Okay, oh yeah, I think they, they're doing the Tomb Kings Vampire Counts combo. Oh god. Uh, <laughs> oh, God. I'm bringing Winds of Death if they do. No, Winds of Death won't do good against Constructs. I think we, I think we got to play the long game if they do that. Okay, so this is this is going to be tough for sure. So Malagor is going to get some Cygor summons. We need to like spread out and force them to uh, become stressed. I can bring the Red Duke this time. Red Duke's good. Um... We need, Double terror, guys. we need to isolate and pick things off. We can't play into the blob game. So I'll bring some bats to tie up uh, the great bows. One, two. I'm going with Cygors. I'm going to bring a couple. I feel like they might be able to just bomb the Shopti great bows. Um, Giga Slayer, there, there may or may not be Gelt today. We can't give away our, our team composition for game three. Because, I mean, chances are we'll probably lose this since this is like an insanely powerful team comp. But, um, all right. So we have that. You need some Sentry Guards with great weapons. And uh, probably not a giant. I mean, maybe just another Cygor. Yeah. Something like this might work. I probably should get some like uh, Ungor Raiders and stuff. Because we want to engage them in a very non-traditional way. Um, like, we want to be the ones forcing them to advance. So, let's see. Cryptors. I don't know how Cryptors would do here. You don't like it? Maybe we just need uh, more chaff to like force the fight on a little bit longer. What do you think? And also be careful with Red Duke up in the air, because if they go like four or five, I guess. I don't know. That's probably fine, though. Because you have, you have Invocation. You can heal. I have two Terror Geist and two Fell Bats. I have a pretty good Air Force here. Okay, cool. Do we, do we need this icon? What does that give? 12 leadership? Yeah. yeah, we can get it. That's fine. So what I'm thinking is, is I have two Cygors. Maybe I get a third. I have four Centigors with Throwing Axes who are going to be trying to like pick down the Constructs. So we need to kind of sit on the far side of the battlefield and have like multiple areas of threat and just kind of a poke them as they advance so if they like then move their army away from the main blob like you're gonna like run in with the red duke and like your goon squad and snipe i think one group of blood knights might be good too like like cut two grave guard here and get like a blood knight just for utility because blood knights actually can do really well against great bows and stuff like that um yeah they just don't do anything against constructs they don't have any armor piercing uh, yeah I mean, it'll very tiny because we we don't need too many infantry. We have to pick them apart. We can't win in a traditional sense. Um, you guys are gonna leave. Let's see. I won't be ready for a little bit. So. Okay. I won't be ready for a little bit. All right. <laughs> you guys, Anna's just talking about sausage parties in chat. What's going on here? Um, I think Morker's the right pick here. I mean, uh, Malagor with the Cygors. I mean, do should I get a Gorble to have a little bit of stopping power? I feel like they just get punted though. What are your thoughts? Uh, I feel like the throwing axes is our. It's gonna is gonna be what our big killer is and the terror guy Scoom Squad. Okay, I think we're ready. You ready for this? Yes. 
Or do I get another Saigor? I don't know how good Saigors are against like the constructs. I feel like they'll be pretty good. Um, we'll definitely just have to do some heavy harass. I mean, you, what we can do is we can have you engage with like your zombies and chaff and, initially, and then my raiders can start shooting at the mortis engine. Uh, I think that might be good. And we'll get rid of the icon here. Then we're going to get another raider, I think. I'll just throw some chevrons on these guys. Screw it. All right, I'm ready if you are. Sure. Yeah, so it, it, this is, I think, an uphill matchup for us, but I think it's doable. We're going to have to really spread them out. And for game three, we have really strong comps, too. So Get another Saigor. Should I get another Saigor? What do you think? I feel like that... You have two with two summons, I mean... Yeah, I feel like three could really bunker bust them, though, right? What are you ditching for it? Well, I would just get rid of a Centigore with a great weapon, and then, like, uh, my Ungor Spears, maybe, and some Poison Hounds. So it'd be, like, a little something like this, this. I think this is actually safer, because Giants, regardless, will be useful. Then I can get another group of Spears. Yeah, I like this. I like this better. How are we beating the Horde of Vampire Counts? Um... Well, yeah, I, I mean, they all our money in on killing these constructs, but we do still have to deal with the infantry. Yeah, I was hoping we just kind of hold them in place with uh, with your stuff and then are able to pick them apart, like because they're both very slow factions. And I feel like we have the mobility advantage and everything. All right. I mean, I could get some more best I could cut the Saigor. But worst case scenario, I feel like we can figure it out and just kind of adapt to like even if they bring a traditional army. But against, like, there's if we don't counter the Construct play, I think we're just done for, right? Yeah. Because, like, if we build a well-rounded army, we're just going to get... If I brought, like, Bestigors, we would just get run over by Mortis Engine Construct Spam. The tough part's going to be killing the, like, Necro Sphinxes and stuff. But hopefully my Throwing Axes plus Centigors can maybe drag them down. It's going to be a little bit tough. Yeah. But at least we have some bunker busting capabilities here. Like we can, if they sit, like triple Cygor plus two Cygor summons, there's going to be five on the battlefield, you know, which could be really gross. <laughs> Yuck. Which is stronger, an entire country's worth of undead or three big boys with rocks? <laughs> we'll find out this game. You have to, though. This this is like this build that you guys are seeing right now is like so insanely powerful. Because you can heal Tomb King's Constructs with Invocations of Nehek. So if we can, like, put a Saigor in each corner of the map and, like, force them to, like, have to go address these threats, I think that's going to be... It's going to be pretty good. And then harass, and... We'll do, like, a little Reaganomics. Like, have you trickle in with your zombies. Not, like, fully commit, but just, like, as they move, we just, like, send a couple things to, like, slow their blob down. And, like, Dragon Breaths, and you're getting your Terror Guys Breaths on the Ushapi Grapos and stuff, if they have them. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's the plan. So we're gonna we're gonna try that, if, uh, unless you have a different idea. All right. Well, if they're great, they'll start tearing up your like if they bring a bunch and they start tearing up your your guys. They'll send the bats in to yeah, slow them down. So at least we can get the rocks. It does take like three shoppy grapos quite some time to kill one Saigor. and uh, we just have to watch out for like like how like have pressure on the Saigors because I don't have too much protection. I mean, I have Centigors that we can use and everything. I don't think they'll have too many Cav, though. Yeah. I mean, you have a Blood Knight. I have a Centigors. I have uh, Poison Hounds. <laughs> so we're going to see. All right. So here we go. So let's see the army size. And they have a big army, for sure. So let's go ahead and put one one of these boys over here. He can have some spears next to him. This guy can be in the middle here. And where's my Saigor? And then this third one can be like over here in the hills. Okay, great. So that's going to be that. Um, these guys are going to be the main focus of my micro. They have a big army though, for sure. But I guess, I mean, they probably have a ton of zombies and skeletons and like chaff. Malagor is going to be lurking in the shadows with his bros over here. <laughs> So very, yeah, very spread out is the name of the game here, for sure. And uh, let's get some of these guys. These raiders can kind of posture up here. I'm just going to try and skirmish a little bit before things get crazy. Uh, three, four, five. And six on Malagor. 
Okay. We're gonna see what happens here. <laughs> I wish I had, I wish Anna was here. And she could give me some kielbasa for sure. That, that that's like when Popeye eats spinach. It's the same same result. Okay, so these guys can go here and my other goon squad here. All right, so yeah, I mean, right as the battle starts, we could probably have you go up and start getting some breath attacks with your dragons and stuff. Maybe? Not sure. This is gonna be some serious bunker busting. Yeah, Cygors are giant sausages, for sure. All right, I'm ready. Let's make sure they're ready before we... Oh man, they're not making this easy on us. I think if we had our game one composition against this, it wouldn't be so bad because we could just spam Weight Watchers. <laughs> but it is a blind pick tournament, so we don't know. We do not know, do we? Our level, our, our tier three is unstoppable. Our tier three is pretty unstoppable. <laughs> our next one, you guys are going to, if we go to game three, you're going to love it. We'll tell you guys regardless, even if we win this. We'll, we'll, we'll tell you guys what we have for our, uh, our, third, our third picks here. Okay. Thank you guys all for joining today. <laughs> oh please, Anna. Oh please. I'm getting a lot of Discord messages right now. <laughs> oh, about the builds and everything. No, I, I don't want to look at it because I, I don't know. What <laughs> There's people like telling you what they're bringing, so that'd be really funny. <clears throat> I just keep hearing it pop up like blue, blue, blue. Fifty dollars on the orcs. They're not even playing orcs. <laughs> <laughs> you can't bet on them. Oh my god. Unless he's just now watching the beginning of the stream. Okay, so I got all my Cygors here. I got all three lined up. I'm going to summon a fourth one almost right away. I'm actually probably going to get the 30 wins first to kind of optimize things. I need to not screw up with these Centigors too. <laughs> oh, was that you or them? That was not me, so... You ready? Yep. Well, I, I was number two there. Okay, got it. Do it. All right, let's, uh, let's do it to it. So a fairly wide army here. They have the Heinrich. And they got some Grave Guard. Okay, I'm just gonna start throwing in. I'm gonna go start harassing those Ushapti Grapos. So let's see if we can take out the Grapos so we can relieve the pressure. Okay, we're... We need to just slow the advance as much as we can. Okay. Okay, well we're getting a little bunker busting here, but... Sigor probably wants to be throwing into the grave guard. Look at those fell bats just being absolute pimps. <laughs> Freedom! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude. Okay, throwing axe is going in hot. So we're getting some decent little harass fire here. So let's just try and pick apart their infantry, I guess, before the major fighting starts. Oh, okay. I thought he used Fated Bune on my, uh... No, he's using it on the throwing axes, which isn't a bad idea. I thought he was targeting my my bats at first. I was like, alright. Alright, alright, I like, it. We I like can, it. I'll take it. <laughs> and let's summon another Saigor here. Let's actually summon it back here. Get the raiders kind of uh, pinching out on the wings here. Try and go and just take out this corpse card. Yeah, it's pretty much a free pick here. Oh, hey, in the back, there's a Necro Sphinx that's kind of like unprotected. Want me to it? Uh, maybe. Yeah, at least pressure it a little bit. I have to start conserving ammunition a little better. We need to get down that Mortis Engine, so maybe we can engage in the front now with some chaff so we can start focusing the uh, the appropriate targets. Okay. Yeah, this is in the back. That's That might be a freebie that we can pick off. I'm gonna start going after this Iro Titan here. Let me get you guys. What's going on with these guys? Why are they? Are one of them in skirmish mode or something? Okay. What happened to the great bows? Uh, I think they just got erased. Okay, that's that's pretty good little pick in the back there on that guy that we got. And oh, the great bows are actually standing right on top of your guys. Oh, I see it. I don't know what's happening with these guys. Their AI is a little screwed up. Raiders are in pretty good shape. I have my new Cygor here, which can start throwing in. Oh, uh, you can't. Yeah. I thought I could uh, LC them. Oh, no. 
If we can pick that guy off that early, that's going to be incredibly powerful. Uh, here, here comes the cavalry, though. Well, the, the Mortis engine's actually going down to the Cygor spam. I have four Cygors throwing at it. I'm trying to take off. I think this is actually working quite well, this tactic of just, like, stretching them out. Because look how stretched out their army is. They're not in a Death Star at all. This is perfect. I just got this guy back here, kind of chilling. Oh, that Mortis engine's going down. How's it going back there? Uh, at the well, very, at the very least, it's... Er, oh, go ahead. The Red Duke's off the ground. Okay, perfect. One of my terror guys, I think, is... See, see if you can come and fly back here and get some breath attacks on the Mortis engine with your uh, your terror guys and stuff. And um, also, get your Grave Guard in the front and engage the Sternsmen so you can uh, screen from archers for a minute if you could. Okay, let's see. Is there any targets back here we want to get? I don't think so. Okay. And also, there's a, a Lord isolated in open field here. Maybe he's worth getting. I'm not sure. Okay, Cygors are still throwing away to their heart's content. I have plenty of ammunition. I got everybody out. Nice, dude. Good job. And we did a lot of damage to that Necrosphinx, actually, which is really solid. Oh, yeah. We need to finish that Mortis Engine before it can heal the Tomb King stuff up. We got these guys back, which is good, so we'll have them go in here. Yeah, that'll work. Let's position around the back here. Okay, it's almost dead. I'm hitting it with all the breaths coming in right now. Nice, dude, nice. Oh. Oh, it's, it's getting low. I mean, my raiders are, are about to finish it off, I think. That should be pretty good. Bounce power is pretty even, which is a good sign for us, I think. I'm saving a ton of ammunition, just being really conservative with it. Yeah, I got my blood knights trying to screen for your, for your guys over here. So. Mortis engine's crumbling. It's about to go down. Let's focus it just to finish it off. And that mortis engine is down. Good. Now we can start focusing some other targets. So um, I'm probably going to start going after the necro sphinxes because they're one of the things that's going to be really punishing for you. Although there are some grapos. If you can get your Blood Knights in the back in the back here and get these, uh, somehow get on those guys. I don't know if that's possible. And this Necro Sphinx is getting a little bit low. The Throwing Axe pressure is adding up. We get these Raiders scooted back. So if I can pull this Necro Sphinx away from the main fight, let's goon him real quick. So I'm going to lure him back with the Throwing Axes. And see if we can make the, you know, make the magic happen. Stop him. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna turn around and start throwing some axes at him. Another fate of unit going down. Sending my blood knights after that white king in the back that seems to be forgotten about. I don't know, yeah, he might be worth worth the effort here. Yeah, might as well try and pick it. The Necrotex are hey hey, we might be able to goon the Sphinx out. He's taking a ton of damage. Let's see what we can do with that. I'm shooting into the corpse cart here. You want me to die bombing now? Hmm. Might be worth it. Might be worth it. Let's do it. Let's try and take it out. I got my breath attack here in three seconds. I'm gonna use that first. Oh, he's moving. I ain't gonna use it yet. Duh. I'll see if I can goon him. Yeah, get the. It's probably not worth having the blood knights. Uh, it looks. He's on foot too. Yeah, just ignore that guy. He's not worth getting. He's gonna have no impact on the battle. Shooting at the corpse guards here. Summoning another Saigor. Corpse guards going down to the raiders. If, if we can kill the constructs, I think we got it. I'm throwing boulders into the to the pits now. How are we doing on that Sphinx? Okay, he's getting pretty low. This is good. Okay, might as well bring Malagor up to help out now. Yeah, let's get the... Oh, these great bows are kind of exposed. I'm pulling the spears away. Let's see if you can get in there and do it. Okay, I would disengage there. They're, they're like, they've reacted to it now. 
Okay, so we're gonna shoot. Okay, the corpse guard, the vampire count's blob is getting destroyed by the cyborgs. It's really taking a ton of damage here. So let's just keep bombing in there. Krell's to battle charging. Okay, how's that worst thing doing? Is it almost dead? Uh, yeah. It's Did we kill low. the other Necro Sphinx? Oh no, it's right there. Okay. No, it's the low one. And maybe you can try and goon Ark in the black. Whenever he like becomes vulnerable. Oh nice, you got on those guys in the back of the Blood Knights. That's super clutch. Good job. Okay, Vampire Count's Blob is free. Maybe see if you could summon some zombies to to kind of uh, tie it back up. Oops, did not mean to do that. Okay, let's... How are we doing? That one Necro Sphinx is so low. I'm going to get some Cygors. See if I can pick that thing off. Let's throw into the Sternsman here. These throwing axes. Actually, oh, and there's, hey, there's two Necrotechs over here that are just like by themselves. Maybe just go snipe them real quick. I don't think our our dudes are, uh, are watching that. Okay, Necro Sphinx is down. We got the one down. The great bows are gone. Good, good. Yes, we, dude, that's a great assassination target back there. I'm going to start working on the Irotype with everything else. They have a big horde pushing, but honestly, they're losing a lot of their stopping power. Um, the Necro Sphinx is, <laughs> is, is gone. They're, bad. they're like just auto-pathing away from everything right now. They're taking a lot of Cygor boulders to the face. Dude, this is gonna... People said this build couldn't be beat. Oh, those boulders are just wrecking that blob, dude! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh man, they're all blobbed. Dude, could, it... could you imagine if I took one to death right now? Yeah, yeah. But we played it safe, you know? We did. Dude, this build is working against this. Exact us. opposite of my Blood Bowl strats. <laughs> yeah, kill that other Necrotech. I mean, just forcing them to overextend, man, is, is the way to beat this. Alright, so... Oh, dude, look. I'm just gonna get all three of those Cygors and just throw into that filth right now. A lot of the Vampire Counts are, are uh, disintegrating right now. Just keep your dudes healthy, because... A couple of them, because we need you to deal with Iro Titan. I'm almost out of ammo on my throwing axes, actually. Yeah, my, my one's almost gone. But oh, and yeah, you got a full group of Blood Knights, too. That's pretty solid. Yeah. I'm going to start working on some of these guys here. Krell's, like, fighting your Saigor over here. <laughs> yeah, I, I probably... I'm just going to finish off Krell with it. Sending the Blood Knights after the uh, Sphinx. Yeah, we need to take that guy down. I have some, I have some Raider Fire that can help out, but... I mean, we still do have three giants at the end of the day, too, with the Cygors. Um, Necrotech's so close to dying, he just won't go into the sweet night. He's about to crumble. Yeah, he's got like 500 HP. Alright. So... Oh, he's gone. Now, where should I... What else should it be? I'm just going to keep working on the blob with the Cygors. So you're going to be much more effective against that, I think. I'm almost out of ammo on most of them. I have one that has most of its ammo, which is nice. This one's in pretty good shape, too. Oh, that breath attack! Oh, baby! Oh, baby, a triple! Alright. Yeah, and just keep that Duke healthy and we'll be fine. Just let him sit there and get bombed. And if they overextend, we'll just try and take out whatever we can. Um, you might want to pull your Blood Knights out. Oops. Okay, my throwing axes are back online. I'm gonna keep working on that guy. Get the raiders shooting in here. Bounce power's in our favor, which is good, but we do have some false inflation from the uh, Cygors. Shim's gaze, I dodged it. Woo! <laughs> I'm paying attention, boy. Good job, Pwn. <laughs> Carrying us into the sunset. All right, I'm gonna keep, we just need to get down the big monsters and we're fine. Yep. His, uh, his Titan's uh, on its own over here. We can just, like, yeah. going for it. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, the rest of the blob's moving away. <laughs> the, the, the zombie hordes. Man, I am out of throwing axes completely. I, I, I brought uh, Van Hell's stuff so I could like get epic goon hits in when I do this. I think we're okay. I mean, they still have to kill three natural cygors who are full health. Which are basically just haggard giants, right? 
just gonna waste the last of my ammunition before. I have one Cygor marching in. I have one coming as well to go after this guy. Let's get... Can't get my Blood Knights really out. No, oh dude, you're doing great, man. Like, just, just shake and bake, you know? Just drag them out, set them up, open up shop. They're about to die. What are about to die? Your Blood Knights? Yeah. My blood Knights. They pay, dude, they paid their dues. Malagor is just literally hiding in the corner, cackling. He has done just nothing but watch. Right, this Titan's about to crumble. Good job. Pulling these guys back. My infantry's looking a little frail, though. I have a I lot, too. <laughs> I, I need to keep some of my stuff alive so they can stay in the air. Yeah, that's true. Well, right, oh, nice. You got it down. Gone. Good job. Let's have you just goon, uh, uh, what's his name now? The other Sphinx. Just take out the other monster. I have a Cygor fighting his uh, his guy here. Is that Krell or oh that's a White King? Okay. Krell's gone now. He died to the spears and your Cygor. Okay. Let's get you guys back in here. What should, should I should I goon that or should I go in on Arkin? Arkin's actually a really good choice too. Just cycle charge him a little bit. Yeah, I can LC him actually. Oh. First time I get to use that this match. Full chub. <laughs> Yes, collapse, <laughs> collapse, brothers! LC. Finish oh them! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! You're killing him! Oh, baby, we Should did it! There. We beat the can we beat the cancer build. I can't believe oh. it! Oh, baby! <laughs> We're gods! <laughs> We're gods! <laughs> oh man, that was amazing, bro! Really good job! They've wronged us! <laughs> Such as for you, the grudge. <laughs> Oh, dude, good job, Pwn. You killed it, bro. You were getting wild with those those terror guys and dukes. You were just like a piranha every time they, they left the waters or jumped in the water. Blacked out. You blacked out the sun, not with arrows, but with boulders. <laughs> with boulders? <laughs> oh, my God, dude. Well. What are we fighting over here still? There's just some zombies. Dude, that's the way to... That's how you beat the Death Star. Everyone said it was unbeatable. It's doable, boys. OP, more like UP, buff that shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at the Duke just riding in. They're just getting stomped out. Yeah. The rocks. That L Seaf just melted. <laughs> yeah, that dude, I just was like, where's Arkin? And just disappeared. Just one <laughs> second. Oh man. Great game, dude. So that's it, guys. Team Walking Haggard has officially advanced in the King of the Tomb Invitational. So we're going on to the semifinals to face Team Brohammer. Yes, yes, we did it, dude. That was, that was great. That was that was so good. Just, just like your goon squad taking out like, cause they had to move right, cause there's five cygors hitting them, and then oh, dude, look at the kills on the cygors, bro. Just look, look at that. Oh my, <laughs> oh my god, god. four hundred forty-eight. <laughs> That dude fell just short of the big 5-0. Oh. oh my god, dude. Look at that. That's so great. Meanwhile, on their side... <laughs> well, dude, they just brought that gross Death Star and we were ready for it. You know? The cat was out of the bag. You just... can't Death Star me. <laughs> and I love the way... I that... am the Senate. I love the way that you played, just having your freaking... Uh... Your zombies, like, we, we basically trickled in with our infantry, and then, like, when they had to overextend because of the Cygor and the missile pressure, you just, like, as soon as something fell behind, you were just, like, like a, a pack of hyenas just, like, feet coming in on the weak <laughs> prey with the with the Duke and the Terrorgeist. Oh, it was so good. 500 kills, almost. 493. The bats gave their lives for the good of yes. shutting down bows. Hey, Knights of Turin. Uh, yeah, you, you can go back and watch it. It'll be up afterwards. This was... Those were some great games. Yeah, and... I mean, we didn't even see. The Felbats were clutch. You shut down the Great Bows. And if, your Blood Knights were so good, too. Like, they, they picked off that backline pretty damn hard. Like, they were a really good pick. Just giving us some strong, like, presence on the battlefield. Yeah, that was... That was... Woo! That was great. So we did it. So now we didn't... I, I'm happy. As long as we didn't get eliminated in the first round of the tournament <laughs> I'm hosting. The haggardness yeah. moves on. Hey, Luke Cook. Thanks for sponsoring, dude. Thank you for sponsoring. So, uh, so yeah, we just took down the unstoppable OP build people. You guys better be liking that stream. Yeah, make sure that's they said it couldn't be done, but oh, light of the streams. <laughs> oh, that's so great. Well, uh, you know what? I, I'm I plan on keeping on playing. So if you want, we could queue up for 
two v twos or just do like a free for all or something. I'm actually gonna dip out and go. Oh, you gotta go. Food. So I'll yeah. do quick battles then. So GG, brother. It was it was GG, great. GG, man. It was oh, good. Good ones. I hope I hope we satisfied the grudge chat against that build. We did. I, I think we did, man. We how could we not have? That was that was <laughs> wild. But yeah, thanks again for playing, man. It was a good time. Thank you. See you. Take care, brother. So our game three team was actually double lizard men. So it was just going to be like the most foul, like three rev crystals, double croc R, like skink chiefs. It was just going to be just a monstrosity. Just just the worst of the worst. So yeah, guys, uh, we're going to just jump over and for the next like 30 minutes or so, we're just going to play some quick battles and just make it a, you know, Saturday stream. Double lizard men. That was it. One sec. They've wronged us. They say that a Cygore can save us. <laughs> I'm done with Cygores for the day. No more. No more. Just quick battles. So I'm going to... Uh, looks like we're getting the found match bug a little bit. So let's go ahead and uh, jump out of here. I'm so glad we took out that Death Star build. Because everyone in the comments and other videos was like, Oh, it can't be beat. It's, un it's unbeatable. And it, it is really hard to beat, but it can be done. Yeah, it was it was double double lizard men was our third team comp. So yeah, now we go to play team Brohammer, and we have to uh, we have to pick uh, we have to pick something new. So you guys want lizard men? Yeah, we can do lizard men. That'll be fun. Okay, so let's go ahead and get Croc. We're gonna get Hand of the Gods. Uh, yeah, we'll keep all his abilities. That's fine. They say that a Croc R can save us. And uh, honestly, Heavens is the best. You just get it on a little Skink Chief, and you just like kind of Wind Blast the high value targets. Harmonic's pretty good for dueling situations. Um, <clears throat> Rev Bacillodon here. Uh, don't worry, guys. I'll get Gelt. I'll get Gelt next game. We're gonna play Lizard Men just because that was like what I was gonna play anyways. And uh, and yeah. Um, you know what? There's actually a game I haven't casted yet, Matthew Hansen. And it's coming up soon. Uh, it's it was the other. It's the fighting mongooses versus uh, versus oh who who were they fighting? Team Brohammer, and uh, there was a double bloody hands picked. And thank you guys all for sponsoring. I will be playing Balthazar Gelt. Don't worry, we'll do that next game. And they say uh, we probably don't need shields to be honest. I mean, it gives you a little bit more melee defense, but Soros will do the trick. Um, we we'll get some skank cohorts to kind of pressure the flanks a little bit. Some chameleons are always really good in this matchup. And uh, do we want to get, like, an Ancient Stegadon or something to, to Ramshackle here? Don't worry, Daddy Gelt's coming, guys. You just hold your horses. Yeah, we'll get an Ancient Stegadon. That'll be fine. And then uh, we get one more Skink, maybe? That'll do, pig. That'll do. And, uh, yeah, we're doing it. So go back to my opponent. See what he's got. Dude, the Gelt is happening. I'll do it. No problem. Next game. I promise you guys, I'll do Balthazar Gelt. Oh, hell yeah. I'll, I'll check out the MMA channel. And uh, also, guys, while I'm here, let me go ahead and... Uh, I'm going to go over to YouTube and... One second, guys. We're going to create... Uh, Sorry guys, I'm just focusing here real quick. So I just put a link to the Discord in the channel and uh, you guys can go ahead and join. And we play Blood Bowl. If you guys are like interested in playing Blood Bowl and have really been enjoying that, we have a really active Blood Bowl community. And uh, on top of that, we also do uh, Total War, all kinds of stuff. But again, just make sure to read the rules when you join and you know, no trolling people, being aggressive and that kind of stuff. And uh, be civil and respectful. And you know, anything you wouldn't share at work, I mean, try to like follow the same principles here. You know, we want to keep it friendly for everyone, so. Um, yeah, we, we could potentially do some gabos today. Yeah, and Luke, thanks again for uh, the sponsor, bud. I really appreciate it. All right, so time for some quick battles here. So let's go ahead and get the boys ready. Boys are back in town. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start here. Man, that was that was a stressful battle, that last one. I like, But I had a feeling the Cygors would be really good. Um Let's see if he wants to take a gentleman's agreement and meet on the low ground so we don't have to like waddle up in the forest up there in that really narrow pathway. And we'll get these guys in group two. 
Croc R can be in group one for starters. We'll get a little skink up here on the high ground just in case. Chameleons, we have to be careful because the goblins do have pretty good vanguard options, so we might actually just start them. Uh, we'll start them up here. Yeah, we, we'll have some skinks nearby to potentially cover them. So three, Rev Crystal in group one, and we'll get this guy in group one too. All right, guys, it's time. Uh, I've watched Archer, yeah, yeah, in the past. Highway to the danger zone. You want some Moo Town Minotaurs, huh? Is that the is that what the people call for? Yeah. They say that a goblin can save us. All right, good luck to my opponent. Let's have some fun. Let's see if Big Daddy Crocgar can whip out his big dino and and do it to it. All right, so yeah, he, he's he's taking a bit of a gentleman's approach, which is good. I just want to fight down here anyways. We'll get our skirmishers going and uh, get these guys going, and the little skinks can help out up there too. So if he takes this engagement here um, with the night goblin squig hoppers, we can easily deal with them with chameleons, and then we have this uh, skink cohort plus these little chiefs up here. So he probably thinks it's fresh fish up here, which is good. And uh, yeah, that's gonna that's gonna be about it. So let's get these guys start shooting here and get the cohort going as well. And the skink chief can also jump in and help. Yeah, one sec. I will get to your uh, comment here in a second. So we're going to kite back right here. Then we're going to get the skink chief, have him jump in there for a second, and just do that. Just to kind of slow them down. And uh, from there, we should be able to just pick them apart. No problem. So that's fine. Now we can just start shooting him. The skink chief should be somewhat durable here. And the cohorts are coming in, which is going to be kind of a freebie for us. And good. All right, great. Let's get you going as well. You can have you pressure the riders, and our cohorts are now there. So we are going to take some damage, but uh, we should be able to get them, I think. And just get the chameleons kind of pulling back, doing their thing. And uh, we want to pop Harmonic Convergence on our cohorts, probably, because, man, they're taking a whooping. So we'll get you guys going here, you guys going here, get the little chameleons pulling back, and maybe I underestimated his power up there. We're not sure. So we'll get Croc R running up there just to be safe. And it looks like his cohorts are starting to go down, which is good. And we do have a bunch of heroes here, so I'm hoping they can, with their combined efforts, win that fight. Uh, the main fight, he has some trolls and different things like that. Croc R. Yeah, we can still run Croc R up there just to be safe. So we do get one group off the battlefield, which is good. I'm hoping we don't lose our other one and it looks like we might get a good trade i mean these guys are somewhat expensive quick hoppers aren't cheap so um yeah and we got them both which is great okay so that was that was a win for us great 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 uh no i'm not in poland right now i'm back in the back in the states actually uh lady turn will be out in california relatively soon really excited for that okay great so we're just gonna posture take our time just kind of try and win this high ground engagement uh we need to make sure to finish those guys off though so let's go ahead polish them off we can get our chief back into ranged mode and have him start shooting. Actually, let's get him down here. I think it's more important. Can we get those guys? Can we get those little bastards? Those uh, those squig hoppers? I really would like to finish them. Okay. So here we can just get this guy, have him start shooting some of his missiles at... Probably we want to start shooting at the trolls. It'll be fine for now. Let's get our casters down there. And can we get these guys off the battlefield? I think we should be able to. Let's keep chasing them. they got to be wavering. Oh, 24 leadership, I guess. Um, yeah, so let's just have you guys go. And it is showtime. So let's go ahead and get our main forces engaged here. You guys can go in there. You guys can go in there. Let's get the skink cohorts around the back. And the skink cohorts can be around the back here. So we want to pull you back. We don't want you guys to be taking the troll town, troll town beating initially. We'll get Gary, the Rev Crystal, in there. And how are little skink chiefs doing? Okay, they're, they're fine. And we're going to go ahead and pop Harmonic Convergence in the front line here. Get those guys a little bit juiced up. This guy can go here, here. Let's get our caster and have him start going after that guy. And our big Basilodon, we can now re-engage him. So Croc R needs to just be going deep in these trolls initially, which is fine, because they'll like instant route, like they just did. And then we can go after his uh, his leadership. So you can see the skinks are uh, you know securing the high ground for us. So right now we're going to go try and get rid of his caster, and uh, we'll get Gary into there, and we'll go ahead and rev crystal these guys, so they can hold on a little bit longer. Skink Chief over here. Go ahead and cold blood himself. And good. So everything's going to code so far, I would say. Um, we'll get the little skink bastards over there. We're obviously going to lose some parts of the battlefield, but it's not a big deal. So this caster's going down. Um, we'll just continue to chase these trolls off the battlefield with our chief. And we're going to go after the rest of the with these guys. And let's go ahead and pop Hand of the Gods on him. Try and burn him down real quick. Get you guys pushing here. And one, and two, and... Okay, we kind of missed that, which is a little disappointing, but... It ain't no thing. So he's on foot. Um, let's actually just... What is that? Is that Grimgore? Grimgore Ironhide. I haven't seen seen that in many years. So Grimgore is obviously very powerful. We don't want to be sitting in his, uh, his clutches here. So we're going to kind of uh, just peel back, take advantage of our mobility... Although the trolls are doing a really good job kind of just pinning us down here, so let's see if we can kind of uh, force path out of there. Get these little skinks cohorts coming over here to help. And good. Okay, Krokar should be free now. I think we need to path just a little bit more that way. 
Do we have Rev Crystals? We don't at the moment, but okay, there we go. So now we should be able to get him. We're going to pull in Gary to kind of, uh, you know, occupy these trolls for a moment. And the little Skink Chiefs, or Skink Skirmishers, we can go over there. And good, so we got rid of his caster, which is uh, really big. And do we have a Cold Blood? We might as well use it now while we're not, like, in serious heated conflict. Trolls have been dealt with. I think we're in pretty good shape. Bounce power is still even. But if we can just kind of take out his, uh, you know, his casting support and different things like that, we're going to be good. And I think I forgot about my caster. Did I accidentally send him into battle? That's really bad. I, I was wondering why I was feeling, like, a little naked this game, but... Um, it's going to be hard for him to kill a lot of our really powerful dinos. Let's go ahead and Rev Crystal this guy. So we can have you run into him, and you can just keep chasing him in melee. God, so sloppy losing my caster like that. I mean, I could have been able to do so much damage. It's disappointing. Get these skirmishers back. Um, just keep doing it to it. Big Daddy Krokar, obviously given the biz here, but let's go ahead and just try and break these guys down before we commit to the uh, final fight. Um, over here, it's going pretty well for the Black Orcs, but we still do have a lot of big dinosaurs. Let's go ahead and get him over here. Get these guys fighting here, and yeah, we got we got some big ass dinosaurs, guys. Some big old dinos. And let's go ahead and push onto his caster. That'll just give us some separation here. Pop this to make sure we don't take too much damage. And we can keep this uh, this big angry one fighting right here. So great. So yeah, we got our skinks in the back, getting uh, occupied by some trolls, which is okay. Do a little rear charge action there, and can we get that caster down? Can we do it, please? Grimgore's in good shape, but I think we got this. Bounce power's coming in our favor, and even though I I thought my uh, my caster was actually my, my Skink Chief, so I was like, oh, I'll just use him when I need him, but screw that one up, Bob. Skink Chief, we're going to get him out. Um, Gary can go ahead and ride through here. This guy's shattered. Go in there. He does have trolls coming back, so let's go ahead and get him with our Chameleon, see if we can really just put him down here. And can we get Grimgor? We don't need to... Yeah, he's, he's, he's going all in with everything here, but I think we're going to win this fight, like in the pits here. Although he's getting our Skink Chief, so we don't want that. He did pop Gitsnick, too. There's a lot of deeps coming in there. Pretty hot and heavy. So Krokar's trying to teabag him. For some reason, he's like, when you have him in that mode there, it's sometimes so annoying. So let's see if he can get out. Okay. So let's see if we can detach Krokar for a second. Although, I think we have all these little spiders around us, which is part of the reason we're getting trolled here. Okay, so Krokar's free, which is good. Get our little skink chief to start shooting at the uh, the trolls here. Let's do that. We'll get you kind of going over here. Rev Crystal Gary can uh, go ahead and heal this guy. Him path over here, and you guys back in here, and you guys back in here. All right, so it's going to code. Um, we can go ahead and shut down the rusty errors in the back. It's a really good fight so far, but man, I can't believe I, I screwed up that bad losing that guy in the beginning. Okay, so we just need to kind of route the periphery, I think, and we can have Krokar come in. I think Gary and the boys have this under control now. So, and how's Croc doing? Do we want a hand of the gods? I think we save that for like the final duel situation. Let's do a lizardman sandwich. Here we go. Here comes lizardman sandwich. And we get in there. We knock those guys back, which is good. So they're going to come in. Then our big boy is going to come in from the back. And hopefully we can just kind of buckle all these guys. That'd be pretty nice. We got some some little skinklings coming back in. We can fight those guys. Gary's doing a good job against the Black Orcs. Definitely deserves a promotion in the Lizardmen ranks. And uh, I think, yeah, we're, we're getting close. We're getting close. So we're going to run away from Grimgor here for a second. And then we're going to turn around and blast him with Hand of the Gods. And our Rev Crystal, we need to save all the charges for Krokar from here on out. So... Let's go ahead and get a little bit more separation. Uh, get these guys going into the Black Orcs with their, their business. And although he's running sideways, that was probably not the best shot here. Gary, can we get you out? And that was really good. That was really, really good. Okay. So now I think we can just come in and Alpha Strike Grimgore. So we're just going to go in. Just balls deep here. See if we can take him out. I really like my opponent's build. Like, trolls can be pretty threatening here. All right. So we're going. Big Daddy Croc's coming in. Oh, yeah. Big Angry T-Rex. He's the Herald of Balthazar Gelt, guys. And that's that's it. I think that's over. If we break Grimgor, he has no chance. Okay. Well played. Really well played. That was that was a really good fight. Well played to my opponent, damn. Okay. Um, yeah, our, our planned factions for the third game was double Lizardmen, actually. Well played. Alright, so uh, let me go down. So, uh, Idis says, just thank you for the games and meme builds. Helped me get through grad school. Very glad to hear that, brother. And uh, thank you for your support. And uh, more meme builds. I have a lot. Dude, I, I had an Archeon versus Gorse game on Ladder the other day. That was, it was just it was so good. So you guys will be seeing that soon. Um, Dov Play says, Gelt. Gelt Schmelt. Okay, so we'll get Gelt and then uh, Dark Elves. Because I know someone in chat was asking for Dark Elves as well. So we'll go ahead and do that. Grimgore is a beast. Like you have to respect him now. After the he got a buff to his mass, and then also to, um, then also to what's it called? 
uh, to his weapon strength, so he's like much scarier. And with Gitznik, it just gets bonus. He can like tear shit up. You have to be really careful. Gyro Bomber sucks. That's my my honest opinion, unfortunately. Okay. Well, hopefully this gentleman isn't watching the stream because he might be able to kill us pretty pretty horribly. All right. Uh, we're gonna do Dark Elves next uh, for Dov. Dov paid. Dov paid, so I wanna I wanna make sure to honor his wishes. Uh, custom map battles. You're talking about like Ultimate Chaos and things like that. Yeah, I'm more than willing to do that. Okay, so this is actually. Oh my god. I know you guys come for the meme, so we're just going full on. I can't believe I'm doing this. I just feel like what any dignity that I've had is just gone. Um, okay, he dodged. He didn't want the gelt. He probably knew it was me. He's like, oh no. All elven FFA. We'll see, boys. Yeah, Grimgor was scary that game. He was like, I had to run from him. If I had stood and fought him with Krokgar, it's like, I could have lost my dude. Alright, Empire. So, we're going to get the Balthazar Gelt. Hopefully... Hopefully he uh, is able to turn my opponent to some sort of metallic substance. Yeah, I know I'm going to get countered, but who cares? We're, we're here to entertain you guys. I don't really care about my ladder rank. If I can sit in the top 100 and still play meme builds, then I'm perfectly happy. So what do you got, man? Cornelius? What tricks do you have up your sleeve this day? We'll find out. I cannot contain such power. Yeah, big thanks everyone for joining today. It's been a fun one, man. Those 2v2 games were really freaking good. They were really good. My goodness. The uh, the second one was just a stre stress cage. Those Cygors with like the 30 boulders. The one Cygor had like 500 kills. It's just wild. Um, XY Mega, I stream somewhat often. Yeah, like maybe like... I do one Total War Quick Battle stream a week, and then I do maybe two Blood Bowl streams, and sometimes there's like a best of five thrown in there. So, um, actually, we can probably keep those on those guys. That's fine. All right, so that's that for now, and um, we'll get one Temple Hoff. We're not going to go double, because it's not that great against Green Skins to begin with. Um, we're going to get Reichsguard, a couple groups of those guys, because they're just absolute PIMPs. Um, Outriders? Do we want Outriders? Or do we want Grenade Launchers? I don't know. Probably just Unbreakable Infantry, to be honest. And then uh, just a couple of those guys, just to hold the line and buy us time for our shenanigans. Um, we'll get some We'll get some Outriders. In case he goes Azag, I want to have like a little support. Um, so let's go ahead and do this. And uh, we'll cut Tatter Souls, and then from there we can just get like uh, get some regular Flagellants. God, man, why are they so expensive? Flagellants cost an arm and a leg. We'll get some swords there, too. All right, this should be fine. Yeah, so basically we're just going to try and like ramrod him with Cav while Gelt just goes hog wild. Oh, hold on. Let me make sure that I have the Staff of Alans. Okay. Wait, do I have the right spells? Okay. Just paranoid. Let's burn through the witches and do it to it. You want to see mega corner camping dwarves? <laughs> we had uh, one of the earlier matches actually had some dwarf uh, camping fun times. It was, uh, I'm trying to remember. I think it was Wood Elves. Wood Elves Dwarfs is, is really good too in 2v2. So that was that was one of the other ones that we had uh, seen in the days of old. Uh, Atlas five zero five seven. I do think that they will add ogre someday. I think they'll be a game three faction. I think we're gonna get ogres, chaos dwarves, chaos demons, and then uh, maybe like I'm not sure what else to be honest. I think that would be kind of the general direction we would go. Kind of stay for the suave man in the corner. Thanks, Giga Slayer. Yeah, ogre kingdoms are really fun. I love seeing them in a uh, in the what's it called. So we obviously want to be relatively detached from our opponent. Um, Temple off, you always want to turn off toggle fire at will, because uh, obviously you want to. Witch Hunter is going to start up here. The Gelt memes are going to be there too. Three Reichs Guard and Outriders, group four. And the infantry are literally just going to sit here and just w await their inevitable doom. Oh, we don't need to lock them. These guys can be in group five, that's fine. And five. All right, boys, that's it. So we just move up there, and then we get our uh, Outriders here and cover them with the Zintler's Reichs Guard. We actually have Vanguard. Hey, Aaron. Thanks for sponsoring, dude. Aaron Farragan. Really appreciate it, man. Welcome to the family. You now have access to the Mimi emotes. 
one of which is Balthazar Gelt. So the next game, we're going to try and get Malekith maybe on a, on a chariot and uh, see how that goes. All right. Uh, army size, pretty standard green skin. Yeah. So what you do, we don't start with much. So you pop both of these right out of the gates, and uh, that gives you puts your winds of magic up to 30 like instantly. So you just do that, and then you overcast final trans, which is really mean against green skin lords. Um, we have a rice guard too. What's really cool if you want a vanguard outriders, it's dangerous because green skins have vanguard. But with Zentler's Rice Guard, it's, uh, it's A-OK. -okay. So first things first, boom, boom, fly him up here. We're going to get our Witch Hunters rolling dirty, uh, Outriders going, and our Rex Guard going. Temple off, we'll position over here, and we'll get some of our infantry to follow. That's pretty much it, guys. That's how you play Warhammer. <laughs> All right, so look at that. One per one right now because of those two pops. So that gets us up to 30 like instantly, which is just gives me a fat chub. Oh, boy, that's not giving me a chub. Ambush. All right, so let's position these guys on the far side. Let's get the Reichsguard up on the high ground to just meat spin these guys. And uh, the Temple Off's on its way. All right. So first things first, let's go ahead and start working on the, the Grimby. Let's get these Witch Hunters going. And the Reichsguard should be able to toss the salads here. Oh, no, he's got a trap, so we're going to fall back. We're not we're not playing into those games. So we get the final trans. Uh, we're going to start shooting into some Black Orcs, and we got it on a lot of people there, which is really juicy. Which is real nice and juicy lack. All right, so let's just keep going. And honestly, we could have just smashed them there. We probably should have. Um, Balthazar Gelt just cackling and having a good old time. Outriders shooting Black Orcs, which is pretty much uh, optimal here. And uh, the Templehof is... Let's see if we can get... Grimgor's on a bit of a lip there, so I think we just kind of play it really safe here. So let's shoot here. Gelt can get back. And yeah, Witch Hunters are shooting. We're just going to keep the Reichsguard in position. Because um, he does have those little rats in there, you know. Let's go ahead and accuse these guys of heresy real quick. Just to kind of start wearing them down. Cool. Yeah, we should be able to cut through them relatively quick. So we can go ahead and get one group of Reichsguard and maybe slam into there. No, we don't We don't need to. So These guys can start shooting at the Night Goblins. Let's get you guys kind of up on the high ground here. Oh, man, I forgot about the Temple off. Oh, my God, what am I doing? I'm just such a noob. Okay, well, that's fine. We should be able to save it. Position these guys out here. Balthazar Gelt just kind of hanging tight. Okay, so we, we're going to free it up. That was really sloppy. I totally forgot about that. Um, he's coming in with some Wolf Riders here, so let's go ahead and get the Zentlers. And pull back, defend those guys. We'll get these guys going here. And the other accusation, we can go ahead and... Oh, I forgot to take them off skirmish mode. That's really annoying. It's fine, though. We should... I mean, these are free kills, basically. So, get you guys shooting at the Black Orcs. Gelt man is in good shape. Temp off's stabilized. So, that's... Everything's good in the land. Great. So, those guys are shattered as the Dickens. Our Witch Hunters are in good shape also. So, let's go ahead and use... Might as well use accusation. Let's guide him back. And Templehof, Grimgore is... Still in a bit of an odd position for us here, so let's pull you guys back. So we're going to wait till we get our, our wand action going here. Reichsguard did a really, really good job. And we are shooting at Grimgore, and let's see if we can get him. And here comes the blast, and it's a miss, unfortunately. Great, so the Reichsguard are here. Witch Hunters are kiting back. We're going to go ahead and use these to see if we can get our goodies again. Get you guys going here, you guys going here, and you guys going here. And let's actually counter charge. I think we can win this fight. We get the Witch Hunters over there. Balthazar is going to go position. And get you guys going after the hammer work. Great. So we have a lot of guys here. I think we... Reichsguard are a very strong unit, too. So maybe we wait for Grimgore to get in there. See what we can do. Let's pull this guy back. Let's go ahead and net him down. Yeah, we should get some freebies back there, hopefully. Reichsguard looks like they're doing pretty well, but there is a lot of anti-large here, so... I want to wait for Grim Grimgore to get into that blob. Let's go ahead and start shooting at him. Let's run over there. And we can go ahead and... That's fine. So the Reichsguard taking a lot of damage. We're going to actually do a bit of a tactical retreat here. And how much does this cost to overcast? Witch Hunters, we can start shooting here. Let's actually shoot him right there. Get these guys coming in. And let's get you Unbreakable Infantry there. Great. So this is the moment of truth here. I think we just uh, try and take him out here. And we did get his uh, Hammer of Gork in the back. So now we can go get the rest of the for free. And the Witch Hunters should be able to take him out. How are we doing? We do have an accusation. So let's accuse him some heresy real quick. And uh, run away here. And get you guys back. And the Reichsguard are, can counter charge here, which is fine. And down goes Grimgore. So that's, that's a nice little pick for us. So let's go ahead and run away. Witch Hunters, we want you to keep scurrying and shooting. And we want them to fire at will so they'll start shooting their pistols. I, was, I think I actually forgot that for a lot of the game. All right, great. So other high value targets, we can just honestly get the dudes over here. Reichsguard are in pretty good shape. So let's go ahead and just start stomping out these like trollish units on the periphery here. Yeah, that'll be good. Okay, great. Uh, we might be able to get one more final trans. So we're going to shoot in there. 
Hopefully we're able to do our thing. And the Witch Hunters. I mean, honestly, we can just like Accusation spam. And so let's go ahead and get on those guys. Great. So those guys collapsed. We can go ahead and get the rest of the errors. Most of his troops are pretty mucked up in the, in the infantry blob here. And uh, Balthazar's happy. He's sitting, he's sitting happy. He's loving life. Grimgore salad has been uh, tossed pretty hard. So let's pull you guys back. Switch you into range mode. I mean, he still has a lot of stuff left. And yeah, I guess letting that thing go is pretty sloppy here. Okay, great. So let's see if we can save that. Unfortunately, we're probably not going to be able to. Okay, so we're going to see if we can get some Reichsguard over there to go save that real quick. These Reichsguard can go ahead and slam into these guys over here. And we'll get this going here. Great. All right, so these guys can start shooting into the back of the Black Orcs. Let's get you guys fighting here. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and shoot into those Black Orcs. Witch Hunters, we need you guys back in the main fight as well. Yeah, it's, I mean, his his army quality was obviously much, you know, pretty darn strong. You can see those Black Orcs are just getting freaking capped right now. So let's actually pull them back towards the Witch Hunters. And the Temple off does break, but it might rally here, especially since the Reichsguard are finishing off those Goblin Wolfies. And we're 1 per 16. I don't think we're going to get to uh, enough to do anything substantial. Reichsguard can go ahead and do a bit of a Rohirrim charge now. We'll go ahead and accuse those guys. You guys need to get back. What are you doing? Come on. Quit messing around with me, Bob. Man, those broken test mob, mob boys are holding holding it holding it down. So the Black Orcs, hopefully we can just buckle them right here. Let's go ahead and shoot into this blob. These guys can start shooting into those Black Orcs. Balthazar. Yeah, I think we're going to get one more... Uh, one more big juiciness. Oh, man. Those Witch Hunter bullets are just so strong. So let's accuse these Orcs of Heresy. I mean, whatever. They, they might follow the Chaos Gods for all we know. Who really knows? The conspiracy thickens. All right. Um, broken Test Mob over here. We don't want to engage with Balthazar. He's literally just... Uh, we're going to pop this to get some speed and melee defense. Reichsguard Knights can... Yeah, we can go ahead and just charge in and just ride down the filth. These subhuman Orcs. All right, here we go. Do we have Accusation? Always want to be checking for that. We're a little ways off. Any routing troops? Not really. Bounce power's in our favor. I think at this point he doesn't have a chance. We just have too much stuff left. We just have those little annoying goblos who are doing a great job. So let's engage the Broken Test Mob. Uh, we can start shooting with Witch Hunters too. We can even get the Gelt Man. Do we want to? I'm a Gelt Man myself. Yeah, sorry. The 2v2's already happened earlier. So I just decided to, you know, keep it going for you guys and, and get this, uh, you know, get some sweet uh, quick battles on. So, you know, you guys have some entertainment. So um, we do have our Outriders up in the hill shooting at the Black Orcs, which is good. We can then go ahead and get this business going. So it looks like our Temple of Luminarch's back online. Um, Gelt can go finish off Wolf Riders. That's a little bit more his speed when it comes to, you know, fighting things. And uh, yeah, it's looking pretty good. Reichsguard are just... Reichsguard are probably one of my favorite cab units in the game. They're just so freaking cool. She's like heavily armored juggernauts. All right. Temple off just decided to flee, which is too bad. Um, we, we actually can get one more final chance this game, which is pretty scary for our opponent. So we're going to charge in, just do a bit of an alpha strike here. Hopefully we can finish him off. Reichsguard coming in hot. And uh, we have Accusation coming up. We'll get one more final transmutation. Check this out. One per three. Eight minutes into the game, which is really damn strong. And that's it, guys. That's it. We did it. We'll just, uh, Gelt. I know people are probably sick of seeing Gelt. So I'm, I know it's like I've been casting it on my channel quite a bit, but that was actually a really good game. I'm surprised he didn't have a caster, though. But maybe he, he probably knew Gelt was coming and just wanted to... Like, Goblin Wolf Riders, he probably bring to take out things like Balthazar Gelt. Yeah. That was that was, that was was a wild one, guys. That was wild indeed. Okay, so maybe Dark Elves this game? I think that sounds like fun. Aaron, thanks again for sponsoring during the last game. I really appreciate it, Matt. Welcome to the, uh, to the family. And yeah, um, before the stream's over, I'll make sure to get you guys a Discord link for anyone who wants to join and hang out and all that, so... Yeah, Gelt's fun, but it can get a little old to watch it all the time because it's... It is micro-intensive, though. That's the thing. People are like, oh, it's so easy. It's not. Like, you, you have to be microing a lot of units and, like, abilities, and it's uh, it's taxing, for sure. So we'll get a Dark Elf game and, and uh, see what my opponent gets. So Dov wanted Malekith on the Lizard limo, which, well, that's actually good against Gaven, so that worked out quite well. And uh, we'll get the Destroyer, which is really strong. And, uh... We are in the desert. Do you guys want Hydra? You're welcome, Josh. You're welcome, man. Yeah, we're we're getting the lizard limo. He's gonna be he's gonna be riding in style today, boys. Alright, so 
Um, we're going to go ahead and get some Black Art Corsairs, who are one of my favorite units in this matchup. Um, do we want another Lizard Limo? Yes. So I think we get the Black Art Corsairs. You know what? I feel like you guys deserve a Hydra for being so awesome today. I think we're going to get a Hydra. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be doing a Vermintide 2 stream, actually, during the week. Um, probably on Tuesday or Wednesday. So, um, so stay tuned for that, guys. Okay, so we're getting a Hydra just because it's a Hydra. And what other justification do I need? Um, Harganeth, I mean, I feel like you don't really need... I mean, what kind of infantry do we want against Skaven? Could get a couple Harganeth Executioners just to have a little bit of meat and potatoes here. We'll get some Black Art Corsairs, which are usually pretty good against Skaven. Um, Hydra is going to give us our AP in the front line. A little bit of counterplay to Doom Wheels, actually, which is which is always welcome. Uh, we'll get some Dark Riders with shields to hunt down some filthy rats. And uh, we'll get some Dread Spears just as kind of a last contingency. So, I mean, the one we thing we're going to be really weak to is going to be Doom Wheels. We don't have too many great answers against that. Um, what else could I get to shut down Doom Wheels? I mean... Hydra's, Hydra can potentially do the trick. I mean, this is a haggard build for sure. This is not like... The, I don't know what I'm trying to articulate. This probably isn't what I would bring in a tournament, but it should be fun. Actually, I have some chevrons. Let's, 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 let's give the boy... Well, let's let the boy chevron. Uh, we're going to try and get Lady Turin, uh, depending on her internet. We're going to try and get her to play uh, Vermintide 2. So it'll be Lady Turin and myself and uh, maybe Gobbo King. And, and yeah, we'll see. Yeah, which elves are good and all, but Skaven can massacre them really quick with slingers and stuff because they have no armor and Skaven suck against armor a little bit. Their AP options are like, you know, are uh, a little questionable. So let's go ahead and set these guys up. Black Art Corsairs are like hands down one of my favorite units in this matchup. Um, the one, the ones with the handbows. They don't have Vanguard actually, believe it or not, but I feel like they should. The freaking pirates. Okay, so we'll put Malekith on his lizard limo, put the, the Hydra in the back. Hydras are one of my favorite units to use too. Three, four, and Spears can be back here. Spears can actually be back here. Five. All right, so we're going to just push up and skirmish with these guys. That's going to be the first thing we do. And then from there, the Lizard Limo and everything else can follow up. Uh, Dark Riders here. We actually want to try and catch some rats. So let's see if we can kind of corral some of these filthy rats with our Dark Riders and collapse on them in the, the first seconds of the fight. Yeah, yeah, I know, Gary. It's going to be rough, but I'm going to rest for a few days, uh, so I should be fine. Hey, life's really good, uh, John. Uh, probably not too many more matches. I'll probably do this one and maybe one more after. And then um, the stream will be uploaded after. So the stream, the original purpose was the 2v2 tournament, but it went, it was over pretty quick. So um, well, it wasn't quick. It was like 30, 40 minutes. But um, I wanted to give you guys a little something, something. For all of you guys who got excited, come on. You know, I didn't want a blue ball and honey dicky, as they say. So, okay. Oh, what is going on over there with that big-ass Gaven blob? Okay, well, doesn't look like there's any gutter runners of any sort. So, first things first, we go kill the Rat Ogres. Um, so, let's get these guys going here. What the hell is this? Lord Skrulk with some some shenanigans. Okay. So, basically, we just bait the Rat Ogres into a fight with our Corsair, or Corsair handbows, and they get melted really hard by those type of units. So, um, so let's go ahead and do this. We're going to get Malekith riding over here. Position these guys, see if we can do a little sandwich. And let's do this. Handbows, we pull back, and then we just kind of shake and bake, baby. A little shake and bake. Let's get the lizard limo in there. Get a little little something something. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. You know what I'm talking about. Get some hydra breath up in this hoe. And good. So the Corsair handbows are pulling back. We have pretty much eliminated a group of rat overgers, which is a really, really good pick for us early. Let's get Malekith back. And now we just engage and we just live the good life. You know, what else is there to what else is there to do? So handbows are pulling back. We did take out one of those rat ogres, which is really nice. We are going to have to deal with this freaking uh, this plague furnace here, but you know the hydra, hydra could actually do that. But I think we want the hydra in the main fight, so that's fine. So Malakith's in there. Let's go ahead and pop this. He needs to you know kind of keep sticking and moving here, but yeah, the handbows can they they're really really good at kiting. So these are clan rats with shields. So yeah, we can go ahead and, and kite across this way. Great. So let's make sure to chase off those rat ogres, get them off the battlefield, and it looks like Skrulk's taking he's taking a little bit of that hydra business. A little bit of Hail Hydra. So let's go ahead and just collapse here with Malekith and the Lizard Limo. Go ahead and pop a Soul Stealer right here. And these Dark Riders need to go ahead and get out of there. So, Handbows are doing okay. A little bit inundated, which I don't like. But we're going to put them in melee and see if we can just smash those guys. And the Hydra is, uh, yeah, it's in a good fight. I am totally happy with this right now. So Power of Darkness, we're just going to do it on some really beat up Dread Spears. Or, actually, they're too far away, so we have to get these guys. 
And good. So the lizard limo needs to be kind of riding. It's, it's a sticking and moving tool. So we're just cleaning up these clan rats in the back. So let's go ahead and pull them over here because they need to be shooting at sensor bearers, not like, you know, just trash units. And uh, yeah, Hargoneth executioners. We'll get those guys back as well. And those guys were able to clean up shot, which is good. So handbows can now start kiting and shooting again. Malakas coming in with the lizard limo. So let's go ahead and just kind of, uh, you know, keep riding back and forth. Hydra, let's get it out and see if we can get a breath attack. So you guys need to be shooting. Yeah, so let's make sure they're in shooting mode here. So Hydra, let's see if we can waddle you out, get the business. Malekith on the Lizard Limo is doing okay. He's taking a little bit of work from that, which I don't like. So unfortunately, the Hydra can't quite detach from melee here. Handbows can kite. Looks like that's going to be Skrulk's kind of last uh, big deal. Oh, this is going to be devastating. So I'm going to do that with Malekith. Need to get you over here. Let's get your Lizard Limo going in the right direction. Okay, come on, Hydra. Get out of there. I want to roast some of these rats for everyone. everyone's entertainment. So we're just continuing to kite, and uh, we're going to get this big, juicy Gaze of Malice here in just a moment. Dark Riders can go ahead and recharge those guys, and here it comes. Oh, it looks like we did just get it, so. So we can't quite get out of combat there, which is a little bit annoying, so. Hambos, um, let's actually just have them kill these clan rats in melee. They're, they're basically like regular black arcs with a little bit less melee defense, so. We're pulling back. Malekith on the Lizard Limos, having a good time. Power of Darkness here. Where are they at? Oh man, they're they far, so that's not going to work. All right, Lizard Limo. Let's pop some leadership and uh, continue our great journey. So let's go ahead and, oh, there's too many friendlies there. So I think we just roast over there. Yeah, we'll just get some of those clan rats, that's fine. Great, so the handbows, as usual, doing a really, really good job, just just holding it down. Bounce power is relatively even. Let's get the Hydra going after the big boy. And uh, yeah, no complaints, no complaints. The uh, Hargoneth Executioners, obviously, you know, with their anti-infantry, are going to cut up the rats pretty quick. Another summon, but just like low tier, low tier chaff, so. Let's kite back. We do have some Dark Riders. They can go chase down some of these scraps that are retreating. Let's actually have them go over here. How are we doing, Malekith? How you doing, buddy? How you doing, little guy? Malekith's just so angry. He's got such an attitude. Okay, Malekith's going to be chasing down the Plague Monks, keeping everything busy. Um, Hydra is just having a Kaiju battle with his uh, Plague Furnace, which is totally fine. Let's actually get them in here, get these guys going here. I feel like our Winds of Magic has just been terrible this game. Come on, handbows. Yeah, they, you see how they're just like picking apart these Plague Monks? It's so useful. Just wait for him to get a little further away, and we get that, and should get him. Yeah, I was, eh, I was a little bit a little bit late on that uh, reaction there, so. Okay, so the Hydra's just straight up Kaijuing these guys, which I'm very happy about. The handbow Corsairs have kited and killed all the Skaven that were chasing them. So let's pull them back to the main fight. Lizard Limo can get in here and do it. We'll go ahead and get the slow. A little damage going on in the main blob with the uh, the Chill Wind, which is a very good ability. I always recommend bringing it. And that, my friends, is going to be all she wrote for the Skaven. Hey, take care, Giga Slayer. Thanks for joining on the stream. It was a pleasure. And Josh Lovelady donated $5 and says, thank you for the replays. You're very welcome, man. I'm glad you enjoy these. I've been having a good time. I love myself some YouTube action. And Desoct095, uh, thank you so much for the sponsors, man for sponsoring the channel. Right on. And run CDM EXC. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Thank you for all you do, Turin, and, uh, and looking forward to Vermintide. Yeah, man, if Lady Turin's internet can handle, we're gonna have so much fun on that stream. It's gonna be great. So a very aggressive sensor bear army. Like, that could have smashed my armor, but thankfully we brought the handbows, who are really good against uh, sensor bears, so. So let's see here. I think I believe we can do, we can do one more here, so. You guys want Carl Franz? Is that we already had Empire? I feel like we need to diversify. Maybe we need to satisfy the grudge. Okay, so I'm reading. We got the Hydra. Yeah, I'm just trying to make sure I didn't miss anything substantial. Maybe dwarves. Do we want some dwarf action? Some hot jobby action? I feel like I've neglected my people for far too long. I'm excited for the next uh, Pacific Rim. I mean, I know it's not going to be like a, you know deep. It's going to be more like Michael Bay style with Transformers stuff, but. I loved the first one. It's like one of my favorite movies of recent time, so it's going to be good. Chaos is a choice, too. We'll see what our opponent picks. Um, we will see, brothers. Alberic, oh god. There, I don't know why people like Alberic. There's nothing ridiculous. He's just like a crappy King Lewin. Like, he has that stupid trident, which is so, like, regeneration is so much better. Oh, man, there's so many different choices here. Um, on future streams, what I'll probably do is just make like a, a, a poll like that has like all the different races. And I think like we'll just have like every game you guys get to vote on who I play. I think that'd be really fun. Just doing doing that for like every single game. They've wronged us. I think we need dwarves, guys. It's been too long. 
We need to satisfy some ancestral grudges. So I'm painting my freaking uh, malignant playcaster. He's he's getting there. He's almost done. Check this guy out. He's looking. Oh, he's probably green screened out. Yeah. I got it. I'm gonna make a video showing once my full army's done. I don't want to show it off before it's ready. He looks he looks really good though. Um, hey, uh, Ryan Thon, thank you for the donation. You got your tax returns, dude. That always feels so good. Chaos, Chaos and Archeon, that's actually something I could do. <laughs> I wish I could play Norska. Yeah, I could do Archeon. Actually, that sounds like a little bit more fun than the dwarves. I do have some dwarf games coming up on the channel soon, too, so. And Archeon. Archeon has been pretty neglected. They wronged us. Okay, we're fighting Milf Hunter, which is interesting. So, we'll see. Can Archeon and the boys do it? We'll find out on the next episode of uh, Top 10 Anime Betrayals. Well, we already saw Grimgore on stream. Um, don't, don't show heresy on camera. All right, uh, this is going to be hard. Archeon is not probably not the best choice here, but uh, Fireball, no. Okay, he dodged. They've wronged us. Uh, Desoct095, thanks again for sponsoring, man. I will probably do, uh, I'll do a Grimgore build for you on the channel. I'll just do like a, a, a video over the next few days. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and go here. Well, it looks like we're playing someone who's actually a tournament player, but I'm not gonna back down. We're gonna, we're gonna play Archeon, win or lose. This is gonna be rough. This is going to be very rough. Okay, so Fireball, nope. Burning Head, not that good. We'll get these abilities here. Kind of domination we don't need. Slayer of Kings will do the trick. And, uh, yeah. So, for the rest of the army... You guys want some Chosen? Is that is that what the people call for? They've wronged us. Alright, let's actually get a Hell Cannon. Oh, you know what, guys? I think we need to meme it. Hopefully he's not watching. If he's watching, we're going to do double Hell Cannon. And then we are going to do some Rider Horse with Throwing Axes. We're pretty good. We'll get some Chaos Knights with uh, just regular form here. We'll get some Poison Hounds. And uh, what else do we want to get? Do we want to get some Forsaken, probably? They're really good. They've wronged us. Yeah, I think it is, guys. We'll get a Chosen, too. Yeah, we'll do that. Let's get some Chosen, and uh, we can just get some Standard Marauders to kind of fill things out. So, hmm. The Chosen can, like, lead this pack of just this horrible rabble here. That's 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 how we'll do it, thematically speaking. Um, so he's going to lead a Norskin rabble. Although I, I really feel like we do need a little bit more sustainability with our Lord, because he can potentially get gooned out really hard. Um, we do have the Chaos Knights. As far as, like, killing Malekith, though, we have nothing. So that's therein lies the issue. I think we... Um, Marauder Horsemen are really important in this build for, like, guiding and trolling, so... Let's go ahead and cut one of these hounds. He's going to be riding with those guys. And here we can get a Dragon Ogre Shaggoth. Those are regular Dragon Ogres. I would like to... Well, you know, we can try regular Dragon Ogres. Let's see how that goes. I haven't tried those guys in a while, so... We're going to try it out, see what happens. So, just a disclaimer, guys. This build is not, like, a tournament build. If I was playing against someone, you know, obviously these guys in a clan probably plays in tournaments and stuff. Uh, I would bring a much different build. But we're trying something different. Obviously, it's, it's much more fun to do that. Oh, Hell Cannons are so awesome against Dark Elves. C Vlad, how come you don't like Hell Cannons, brother? Come on. Trolls, uh, trolls aren't very good. Dark Shards, there's too many repeater crossbows, just Corsairs, like everything punishes them. And this is a really open map, so if you are going to do Hell Cannons, this is definitely, uh, definitely the way to do it. How come you guys don't want the Hell Cannons? Oh my gosh, I'm surprised there's so much revolt against these things. They're so good. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. And uh, we're just going to kind of have our infantry sitting back here protecting them. Chosen can be back here too. Archeon's going to be riding dirty. Be group one. And these guys can be in group two. With Archeon, Archeon. Archeon actually should be riding group three with his, uh, his, his dragon ogres. His dragon ogre buddies. And four and five. Great. I think this is good. Let's see what happens. Yeah, you like... Well, honestly, this, this build might work. Like, and honestly, you know, a lot of you guys, like, like, probably enjoy aspects of the channel because there's, like, builds that end up, like, weird builds that end up being good. And I feel like that's one of the more rich experiences in, uh, in games like this. Because 
there's so many different factions. There's just like almost endless possibilities. And when you can discover like off meta builds that can beat competitive builds, for me, that's one of the more rewarding experiences in the game. I know most of the tournament builds and, you know, you see them on every channel, you know, in most events. Yeah, Archeon's not terrible. Um, I mean, if I can get the Slayer of Kings and like a decent surround on his Lord, we can we can put him down pretty good, so. Uh, let's see what my opponent's up to. So there's probably gonna be Dark Riders. We do have uh, these guys defending the Hell Cannons for now, for starters, and we have some Chosen hiding who uh, will be impactful once the fighting starts. But we need to keep the fight from getting to my backfield. Like, we need to buy as much time as we possibly can for these Hell Cannons. That's really, really important here. So if he's watching the stream, we might be in trouble. If not, we, uh, we should be okay, so. We'll do this. Um, we do have this, and Archeon can go here, and let's get the Poison Hounds going to this group over here, and the Hell Cannons can start shooting at. Uh, okay, so it looks like he he might have been onto our our games here. Four and five, and great. All right, so we're pulling back these guys. We got a decent little engagement here. Archeon and the boys. That is a lot of shade. So I'm suspicious. This seems like it was very contoured to what I was doing. Anyways, so we're gonna start shooting these Hell Cannons in. Hopefully, getting some pretty good value. Um, and the Chaos Knights, we can potentially go in over here on these Shades and take them out. And then the Dragon Ogres can go here, Marauder Horsemen, and get you guys going here, and you guys going here in melee. Okay, great. So the Hounds can go ahead and detach. Hell Cannons are doing okay, though. They're not doing terrible. So we'll shoot at those guys. We're going to pursue these Shades over here. Arcan can actually, uh, yeah, I don't know if we, if we need that business. So let's go ahead and pull back. We're just trying to screen right now. And if we can get on those Shades, that's going to be really juicy. Cold One Knight's coming in. Let's go ahead and pop the Flaming Sword of Ruin to give those guys some stats. And uh, we'll see what happens. All right, so our count of these guys were collapsing. We did get the Hounds on the Shades. And uh, yeah, I think his build's like just a hard counter to ours, though. I don't know what more we're going to be able to do here. So we're going to do this. Pop those, all those goodies. And once the Dragon Ogres get in, maybe we can make the magic happen a little bit. So let's shoot these here and these here on these repeaters. And we'll get these throwing axes up here on the high ground. And yeah, we might be able to smash these guys here. I'm not sure. So let's go ahead and drop this burning bolts here. And we'll go ahead and pop the boom. And see what we can make happen. And yeah, I think we just got to advance these guys right now, to be honest. So, and the Chosen can go ahead and come up. But they're just going to get cut apart. So we get a really good bombardment there. And you can see those, uh, his, his knights are kind of out of the picture too, which is good. So Dragon Ogres are kind of getting chewed up though. Pretty, pretty solid. Okay, so it looks like he might go for the back line here. So I think we actually just have to stay and defend here. Oh, Hell Cannon's, uh, you know, delivering some pain. Okay, so the Cold One Dread Knights uh, are out of the picture. So now we can just kind of swarm these guys. I think we just got to we gotta do it to it. Um, let's give these Cascading Park look to these guys to make them last a little bit longer. And, uh, and yeah, so these guys are doing okay. We're getting some blasts into those guys with the Hell Cannon, surprisingly. And we are on a group of Shades here, which are uh, starting to take a bit of damage. So I think we might need to pull back to the Hell Cannon with Archeon, though, and just, like, try and make a, like, last stand right here. So let's get the throwing axes, have them start throwing at the chariots. And how are we doing? Yeah. No, there's there's no way we can win this. Unfortunately. We're gonna try our, we're gonna try our hardest though. Yeah. I'm suspicious that he might have been watching my stream. We'll see. Alright, so we're pulling back here. We're gonna get some defensive guys. We're gonna get these guys kind of just screening. There are some knights here, but yeah, there's not a whole lot we can do against that, so let's just chill. And how are the hell cannons doing? Are they getting any kills on those guys? Not sure. So Archeon's going to swoop in here. Let's get these uh, Dragon Ogres back there. The Hounds have re-engaged with these Knights. And Archeon is actually not doing terribly, all things considered. So these guys can go here. These guys can go here. We'll pull these guys in between. And Archeon just needs to waddle through and uh, maybe, you know, help defend a little bit. Okay, how are those help? Oh, that was a nice shot right there. That was a real nice shot. Surprised the Bounce Power is still somewhat even, believe it or not. I mean, I guess his army's kind of tattered. Okay, so let's get you guys going here. Archeon and the boys, we need to get you on those Chariots as well. And these Chosen can maybe do a little damage. We'll see. So we're going to shoot in this blob right here. We'll get this Hell Cannon shooting. We actually need to re-equip it because it looks like the Jawi did get knocked off. So let's pull you in. Come on, Dragon Ogres. If you guys get a couple attacks, that'd be really, really solid. Flaming Sword of Ruin. We'll collapse here. Maybe we get a couple Chariots here. I'm not sure. Who does he have for his Lord? Oh, he just has a, a, a Dread Lord on with a sword and crossbow. Okay. And let's go ahead and pop the Cascading Fire Cloak on these guys. Just kind of keep them fighting. And it looks like we're actually cleaning up the chariots. Nice shot there from the Hell Cannon. And, uh, yeah. All right. Let's see what else we got going on here. Get in there. Let's get you guys fighting in there. Chariots are almost cleaned up. This one only has a couple models left. And Chosen are fighting. But I, I think there's too many shades. He's going to... And he just got a <clears throat> murderous prowess. So he's just going to... He's just going to bomb us in here, guys. Yes. It is time. Archeon never chosen. And the Hell Cannons... We're, uh, I was expecting more of an infantry build, but he just had mass, like, cab and archers and things, and there was, there was nothing we could do against that. Well played, regardless. 
It works. And honestly, that might work against a regular Chaos build, but I don't know. Like, against really heavy Forsaken and, and Chaos Knights and stuff, I think it would have crumbled, so... GG. GG, my friend. Yes, we tried. We tried. Yeah. I'm sorry, Archeon failed you guys, but yeah. So what you would probably normally do is get Kolak or uh, Sigvald and just go very wide with infantry and try and swarm. A bunch of Marauders and, and Forsaken could chase these guys down. I mean, he might have still beaten us. He's obviously a very good player. Um, so yeah, it was it was, it was was ferocious indeed. So yeah, we'll do one more game, guys. We'll see what we got. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Yeah. It is time. It is time. What do you guys want to see for the last game? You just let me know. You guys, I know we already saw Grimgore on stream. We're going to try and get something fun and exciting here. Dude, we tried. Archeon tried for you guys. He, he just couldn't couldn't quite make it. Uh, any matchup you want, my friend. And he dodged. Yeah, it is St. Patrick's Day, so maybe we need to end on a green skin build. I think that's actually a really good point. Yeah, it was a good try. It was a good try, but as soon as I saw his, his build, I knew it was over. It was just, no, there's no chance. Because Archeon's already super non-competitive against them, and, uh, you know, with all those shades and just, just yeah, it wasn't, it was, wasn't able to do it. Yeah, it was strong. It was strong. So we'll see who we get this time. Milf Hunter again. I don't know if Milf Hunter wants to fight, but um, we can do green skins. Let's see, let's see if he takes it. Maybe he will. We'll get you guys the uh, the business. And he's dodging. Come and join us. Feel free to snipe me, guys. It's time. I'm trying to get a game in here. We'll see what happens. Dirthu doesn't. Dirthu isn't green enough. Yeah, his leaves have all fallen off. Franco. All right, Franco. It's time, brother. It's time for the green tide to pour over the hills in the deserts and come looking for the Tomb Kings. So I know you guys want the Grimby. We're going to do it. We're going to be, uh, even though Wurzog's probably the competitive pick. Uh, a couple Black Orcs on top of that. We're going to go uh, to Troll Town. We're treating you guys. We're treating you guys nicely. Let's get, probably want a Night Goblin Shaman here. Having one is nice, just utility. Um, Orc Shaman, honestly, the Goblin the goblin Shaman is like dirt cheap. Allows you to get, but even on, on Pig, he has pretty good AP and stuff, so... Uh, let's get this, and do we want Foot of Gork? It's, I feel like it's not really worth it. Sometimes you can get away. I think we just spam the buff spells. Yeah, I think that should be fine. The green skins. Oh, and he just switched. Hmm. Okay, so, oh, man, I really wanted to use trolls. That's a, that's a disappointment. Grimgore is is going to be okay here. Um, he'll help hold down the front line at the very least. So, on top of that, we can get a couple uh, Gabos to kind of help saturate our front line a little bit. Now, do we want to deal with... Centigors are pretty good against green skins with uh, the throwing axes. We could try and contest the skirmish game, but he has much faster speed than us, so we'd have to, you know, have some sort of a contingency plan. Um, let's see. Oh, are you guys wanting Gabos or but what about what about the uh, the Grimgore? Well, it looks like Desoct who asked for Grimgore wants wants the uh, the lads. Okay, we'll go with the lads. You guys just got to forgive me if I just get stomped here because the lads are always a little ridiculous. Okay. So we're going to do this. We're going to get a Night Goblin Shaman. Um, and we can go ahead and get the uh, the Gork will fix it. The Wand of Jet. Pure Gabos. Okay. Yeah. The lads are ready. We're going to get a Night Goblin Warboss. He does have Tormentor Sword, which is really good. So, um, Potion of Floriness isn't bad. That gives him Unbreakable. We'll give it a whirl. We'll get some black orcs because they're just like, oh no. I'm like, we're going to get some black orcs because they're so good. I'm like, oh, wait a second. I'm going mass goblins. I forgot. Okay. So we get that. We're going to get a couple groups of nasty skulkers here in the back who are just a solid, solid unit. Uh, Durkid Squeak Hoppers. One of the better choices you have. Arachnok Queen is going to be with the Grim, with the pack. Yeah, we're trying it. Stabby Boys is good too. Okay. As long as you approve. I know you, you were the one you sponsored today and you wanted it, so I'm trying to trying to keep you happy. Um, Sword Advanced Heroes? Eh. Let's try it. Eh. No, no. It's, it's, it's not good. Okay, so we have the Queen. We probably want to get some Skirmishers just because they're gobs. The lads. 
Uh, we can get some wolf riders too, I guess, or forest goblin spider riders. I actually really, really like. Um, sneaky stealing. Plant. I guess it's not bad. That's a pretty good ability. Let's put him on a little wolf just to cut corners. Uh, I really do like the forest goblin spider riders. I feel like they're solid. So no rusty errors or anything, guys. We're we're going in raw. We're going in raw, boys. Oh, teeth robbers. You guys want those? Okay. I, I forgot how important those guys are to you. There you go. We'll sacrifice like an actual good unit and get the teeth robbers. Just can't catch a break today. <laughs> yeah, fun games. Oh no, for sure. I don't. Yeah, I don't care either. I mean, sometimes I care. Everyone cares if they lose, even if they say they don't. Like, it, it's it's never good. But I don't mind, especially if I'm playing builds like this. It's it's more if I like tr do my try hard builds and then I get stomped out. That's like you're like ah, I can't win anything. I just suck. No, guys, we're we're going in raw. These gobos don't need no no arrows. They just need their their pointies. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks again, guys, for joining on stream today. It's been quite a bit of fun. Getting to getting to see all of you guys again. It's been a while since we've streamed. And uh, oh man, we're fighting the beastmen in the desert. Okay, he's well, hopefully. My army's bigger than his, which is good. The lads are bigger. The lads are ready. A little night goblin shaman just kind of cackling there. We we'll get these guys kind of on the the wings here. And the spider queen is just going to be. She's really good because she like gives you an actual anchor in your center. Uh, two, and three. So we're going to have those guys do like some skirmishing and trolling. And let's actually put these guys in group four. And we can actually put the Dirk Swakes in group one and use them as like a frontline shock troop. These guys can be out here. And yeah, I think that's okay. Good luck to my opponent. Let's do it. We're going in dry, boys. All goblins are super fun to play. And, you know, it's surprisingly competitive for sure. Surprisingly competitive. This, this meat is raw! <laughs> Let's actually position you guys up a little bit so we can get those guys in the fight quicker. He might think we have uh, archers too in the back line, so maybe he'll come looking and there just will be nothing. We'll see. The lads are ready. Take them off skirmish mode, very important. So we do have the Tormentor Sword, so we could potentially do some heavy gooning right here. Look at all the abilities this guy has. Jesus, that's crazy. Um, Beastman. Okay, so he's doing some shenanigans as well. So let's go ahead and get these guys going up here, pushing in, and the Gabos. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is just going to be a madhouse. So let's pull these guys in. We're going to pull the Forest Goblin Spider Riders as well, and Teeth Robbers. We're going to go ahead and start robbing some teeth right away, actually. So screw it. Let's do it. Here we go. Here we go. Here. Yeah, we go here. Some Skulkers going there. Some. Yeah, the Ragnarok Queen can just get in there right away. And the Gabos can uh, do it too. So Itchy Nuisance on these guys. We're able to rob some teeth, which is always a good sign. And the Forest Goblin Spider Riders doing doing the trick. Just kind of keep circling and just playing this game with him. And we need to get our Lords coming over here as well. So um, He's got some stuff coming in. What are these Gore Herds? Okay, so we can go ahead and pull these guys up and around here. How are the Dirk Squigs doing? They're really melting these guys. And the Queen also doing a very good job. Summon some Spiders. And um, yeah, we can go ahead and pull back. So we probably want to pull back to the main fight. And we can get my lords and these guys going in with the uh, forest goblin spider riders. So let's go ahead and collapse those guys. These guys here, man, that pocket just just melted for them. So he's coming. So the gobos are going to protect their queen, <laughs> my queen. So let's get in there. Um, hopefully we can break break their charge bonus. I'm not sure. Uh, can we do this? Can we get a little a little something something? All right. So let's get our skirmisher cav going over here. How's our lord doing? They're having a good old time over here. The lads are definitely ready. All right. So we're just actually winning this fight against the centaurs pretty handily. So. Teeth robbers, uh, we'll get you guys robbing some teeth here. So we're going to put them in group five and get our other skirmisher cav back out here. And uh, yeah, I feel like we're in good position. Forest Goblin Spider Riders are surprisingly good when it comes to uh, combat here. So sneaky stabbing on my lord. Give him a little little something something. A little juice in the morning. And uh, yeah, I think it's all going good. Queen's got a nice little Death Star around here for sure. The Beastmen are, are getting the biz. And uh, we can just pop some leadership to keep those Forest Goblin Spider Riders fighting. And these skirmisher cav. Uh, well, he actually has some uh, some gores back here, so let's pull those guys back. And the teeth robbers probably just robbing some teeth, you know. It's to be expected. So, do we have any smoke bombs in this blob we want to pop? I don't think so. Okay, so we're gonna go back to our lord over here. Um, we don't need to pop any potions. We're just kind of in that slow grind over there. The Arachnot queen can summon some spiders to actually help out in a couple seconds, and we're actually losing a lot of troops here. So I think we want to get some of these skulkers back in the fight here. 
And we really need to win this fight over here as well. But the queen is a little bit surrounded, which is stressing me out. So we're going to summon some spiders. Hopefully that can do the trick. Uh, let's start shooting in here on some of these minos. And our lord and company, how's he doing? Man, we really need to get some of those, those guys back because if we just go down there, that's going to be rough. Okay, let's get the gobbles back in there. Get these spiderlings actually going after the centaurs outside. Get these guys kind of running over to our lord as well. And, oh, actually, looks like we're going a little bit better over here. So he does have a Cygor summon, which is going to give him, like, a temporary, like, big juicy buff. So let's debuff those guys. Can we get that debuff off before he, he actually uh, terror routes there? Does not look like it. Okay. So the spider's taking a lot of damage. So we want to get these guys back. It's a really, really important tool because we want to make sure to maximize our uh, our spider summons. And this is exactly what we need, the, the Gabo rally. So let's get these guys in here. Get these guys kind of going here. And then we can re-engage now that we have Gabo support. And we can get these guys going. And good, so our caster is back. So let's see if we can kind of scurry him away. Um, get some debuffs going over there. And let's get the squigs back in here as well. And all right. So very pitched fight for sure. I think we are in okay shape though. Like the fight's getting a little bit more kind of stable for us. So let's rear charge these guys in. And that Night Goblin War Boss doing good. Honestly, I think we just use the Tormentor Sword and wait till the Gobbles get in to use the leadership. And then we're gonna use this to lower their melee attack. So a little bit of an alpha strike. So here is good. We are gonna get some more spider summons. We have some buffers, and Gob the little goblin needs to run for sure. The, the, uh, some sneaky stabbing going on over there. Let's come in and rob some teeth. So I think once his Cygor disappears, we'll be in good shape. This winning this blob fight here is really important. Um, Queen and the Gorbul, like these guys are all going down. Let's get these guys shooting here, and the little guy can cast Gork will fix it. Slow those guys down, and we'll use the Wand of Jet as soon as he casts that. And okay, So how's this blob doing? It's going pretty good. He's got some gores left. Um, let's actually go ahead and switch onto those throwing axes, see if we can catch them, maybe? Yeah, I think we, we can just kind of rotate over. So we basically won this side of the battlefield. So Teeth Robbers are coming back in. They're robbing some Teeth, which is good. Let's get our missile units over there. And the Arachnaut Queen is pretty good shape, I would say. Let's keep these little gobbos fighting. We're going to try and finish off the Gorbul. Oh my god, Gorbul mass is so ridiculous. Okay, Spider. Finish off the Harpies. Now we just fight that good fight. We just kind of like try and drag him through the mud a little bit. Let's get the Teeth Robbers coming in. He does have Malagor, the Dark Omen, so he's going for uh, Saigor Summons, which is pretty, pretty, pretty good. I'm always a fan of that myself. Do we have more uh, spiders? We do in a couple seconds. Okay, so that's going to be good. So we have our Death Star. We really want to finish off this Gorbul. It's, uh, it's too bad that he's still alive. We've been working on him for a while. And we can summon some spiders with the Queen here in a moment and just kind of uh, use them to muck up infantry. The Gabo's here fighting a good fight. And we have five, uh, four Scotland Spider Riders back. Okay, so let's get them over here. Our Skirmisher Cav are still fighting off those Harpies, which are just trolls. And good. We got our Spider Summons. Send them after the Cygor to polish him off. And I think we did kill the Gorbul, or at least broke him. Yes, good. And our little our little Squig Master is in good shape here. Just riding around, just feasting, having a good old time. And our Missile Troops, we can maybe finish them off as well. Forest Goblin Spider Riders. Our Spider is broken, though, so, you know, the uh, the layers are, are thinning out here. What else do we have? Do we have any, like, rallying Gobbos around the map? Okay. So good, so we got that taken care of. And let's actually go in and see if we can uh, get his Lord now. I think that would be really strong. So we got his Saigor. Let's go ahead and get these guys. Um, get these guys going here. We're gonna get the Queen running over here. How are, our, how are our lads doing? Okay, Shattered, I think we got this. So the Gobbles are gonna come in and get Malagor, um, which is gonna be strong. We can definitely polish him off from there. And we have Tormentor Sword. He does have some protection, but not much. Like I said, we're going in raw, boys. All right, so we're charging here. This can go here. Get you guys, and just in case we shatter, make sure to use that smoke bomb over there to slow those guys down. And we'll pop the wah, and oh, we're gonna we're gonna get those KFC wings right now. We're getting them. That sweet sweet goodness. We're gonna torment sword him, so he can't get away. No escape, just salad toss for days. And let's make sure to get that spider summon off before these guys uh, do crumble down. So um, we're gonna go block up these hounds real quick. Uh, let's go ahead and get the charge on them. But I think with Malagor dying, it's gonna be too much for him to come back from. I think so. Yeah, he's, he's done for. Well, maybe he's going to get eaten. We'll, we'll watch the death animation to see if we can get the feasting. Uh, these guys can go here. Ragnarok Queen. We have no spider summons left, so now she's she's pretty much uh, just, you know, as it's going to be. We'll get these spiders going here. Check for Gobbos in the far distance. Happy St. Patrick's Day to you guys. And, oh, he didn't get eaten. Okay. So now we just kind of rally the last of our troops, um, and we can just kind of keep fighting the good fight. Yeah, he's just got a Gorbel left. And uh, we got the lads. Look at him going. <laughs> yes, get him, Anakin. Extra crispy, boys. Extra crispy. Gabos. We can cast that one. Wrap up them KFC wings, boys. Get down to business.
The lads are ready. I mean, he had a good army. Uh, you know, Cygors to kill Black Orcs, Minotaurs to hit Black Orcs, Skirmish units to contain the battlefield, and these to take out Chaff. Um, Malagor's good. He's competitive. And, uh, you know, our Gabos, our lads were ready. We robbed 53 teeth. Well, times how many ever teeth the Beastmen have. Yeah, I don't know. If you really want to be... 53 sets of teeth were robbed by the teeth robbers. Um, yeah, guys. I think that's good. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. I'm trying to trying to please you guys. So you guys got to see the King of the Tomb Invitational. In the comment section of this video, you're going to see the, the ladder and the bracket and everything with the uh, updated stats. There's one more set of games here I need to cast. If you guys probably saw my replay folder when I was uh, going through it, there's actually uh, one more set I need to cast from the original series. So we're actually to the semifinals now. So everyone can start playing in the semis. And uh, and yeah, we're going we're gonna to do it, guys. So, again, I'm going to be trying to stream a little bit more, uh, do more quick battle streams. I actually feel pretty good right now, so I'm just going to stop because, um, you know, that means maybe I can do, like, a best of three tomorrow or something fun, you know, get some of the lads and do, like, you know, something with Gabo King or, you know, Dov and all those guys and Sotek and, you know, maybe do, like, a King of the Hill. So, um, so yeah, the lads are ready, as always. The lads are going to go back to their caves and chill, as am I. I'm going to go probably paint some of my 40K stuff over here. And, um and yeah, thank you guys again. Let me go ahead and read off some of the donations and stuff. I just want to make sure to acknowledge you guys. Um, thank you, Luke Cook, for the sponsor. Idis Mart Martier for the donation. Dov Pays, as always, paying, paying in hard. Aaron Farrigan, Run CMD XC, Executable. Happy St. Patrick's Day. We got Desoct095. Thank you again for sponsoring, man. Really appreciate it. Hopefully you enjoyed the gabos. We got Josh Lovelady and Ryan Thon with the tax return coming in hot. So... That's it, guys. Thanks again for joining on the stream. Hopefully you guys had a good old time, and maybe we'll see you guys for a best of five tomorrow. So I'm going to talk to some of the guys and see if we can get something, and uh, that'll be it. All right, guys. Have an excellent night, and uh, take care.